All right, you bunch of yahoos, strap yourselves in for another episode of Dan and Don's Toxic Masculinity. In other words, shut up, sit up, and pay attention. Hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of Toxic Masculinity. I am here with my co-host, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Don the Predator Fry, and yours truly, Dan to be Severin. We're here to entertain, enlighten, offend, defend anybody and everybody. But if we do defend you just a little bit too much, you know, put your little man pants back on, grab a cup of coffee or the beverage of your liking, and be ready to be infused with some manly hormones. Ta-da! <laughs> And Don, please introduce our, our, our guest here today. A good friend of mine, Stuart Wilson. Uh, hell, Stuart and I have known each other for, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years? Something like that, yeah. Something 2012, like that. 11, something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Shit, 12, 13 years in. Yeah. And um, uh, he was the producer of uh, that show I used to do, Predator's Predictions. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, I, I love that. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I thought that was fantastic. Yeah, we were, we're going to try to come back, yeah. <laughs> well, good. We were, we were, we were, we were some organization you guys may know tried to rip us off, but I think we, we'll, <laughs> I think we'll talk to them again and see if we can get it going. Well, Stuart, I mean, it was. Uh, I was going to simply ask you right offhand, what was your line of occupation? But, uh, but, but uh, as I pulled in here, I see your vehicle sitting right there, right on the license plate. It simply says, yeah. "Stuntman." Stuntman. Yeah, that's uh, um, my family, all actors and actresses, and I didn't think I had it in me to, you know, to three pages of dialogue professing my love to some woman I've never seen before, so I opted to land on my head. So that's... Uh, that's, that's the, the you know, I, I profess my to. love to a woman I've never seen before all the time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll taste the drink, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on rare occasions, it works, yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Don usually yeah. lands on his head afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Oops. Exactly. No, but I mean, just before we actually came out the air, you actually started to say, started to tell me some little bit about your family lineage. I'm thinking, no, 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 this is great. Let's talk about this idea yeah. because just learning about who your father was alone, please. Yeah, my my dad was uh, for the people in our generation. Uh, they would know he uh, was known for a character, Mr. Whipple. Please don't squeeze the Charmin commercials. His name was Dick Wilson. Uh, my mom was a professional dancer and an actress. Uh, and uh, your dad was in the RAF, also. My dad was in the Royal Air Force. He was a wing commander with the Royal Air Force in and, War, uh, WW2. Yeah, WW2. Yes, definitely. And um, and my godmother Shirley McLean. So we wow. Grew, you know, we grew up in the business. We don't know anything else. So you know we're too dumb to know anything real. So at, at that time, were you living? Where were you living at that time? We were Cal- in, in Southern California. Okay, Southern California. Yeah, Southern California. Yeah. We but live, today you live. I live still in Southern, Southern California. California. Oh, Southern California. Oh, okay. Wow. He moved. Okay. He moved three miles. Yeah. Yeah. I moved next door. No. But uh, yeah, we lived in in first of all, uh, you know, when my dad's career was just starting to take off, we lived in downtown L.A. Not a very nice neighborhood even back then. And uh, then when his his commercial started kicking into gear, then we moved to North Hollywood. So I grew up in North Hollywood. And then, but your dad was in vaudeville too, right? Yeah, he, my dad was in vaudeville. Uh, he was on the road, you know, traveling with a vaudeville troupe when he was 16. So uh, he spent his life, you know, aspiring to be an actor and make a living as an actor. And that was his goal, just to make a living as an actor, not to be this, you know, huge popular guy or make tens of millions of dollars. He just wanted to make his living as an actor. Wow. And, and then, he ended up doing it. Is that where your mom and dad met? My mom and dad met in Korea on a USO tour. She was one of the dancers, and he was the MC, and sometimes he flew the plane. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Very versatile family here. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. So he, uh, don't, fist he, the, don't fist the Charmin guy off. <laughs> don't squeeze that Charmin. Well, you know, and he was an amateur boxer. Him and his brother boxed in Canada. And uh, he was the amateur light heavyweight champion. His, bo- his brother was the amateur heavyweight champion. And they went under different names because he said if our mom found out, she'd have both titles in one night. So yeah, that's what my that's what my dad and uncle did. Yeah, they they fought under different names so yeah. that the dad their dad wouldn't find out. Yeah, you know that uh, obviously they still the dad still heard on the radio one night when my uncle he fought under his name he was uh, Raymond Junior. You yeah. know Raymond Fry Junior. Right, and he fought under Ed. 
And it's fries, fries down, fries up, fries down, fries up, fries up. <laughs> I, I don't know what my dad's record was, but he, his last fight he told me about, he said, he's looking across the ring, he sees the other guy, the guy looks punchy. And he goes, he tells his corner, man, it has to be an easy one, we'll go out and grab a steak. He says, the bell rang, I don't remember anything. He says, he, he, he woke up walking down the street in New York, just like staring in windows. He goes, that's it. I guess yeah. I'm not that good. Wow. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that's like when I fought the um, Banner. Yeah. You know, every, all I remember is going out uh, through the curtain and, you know, you the big, you walk out to the ramp and then it lowers, you know, and then you walk to the cage. Yeah. I don't remember anything until half hour in the locker room after, half hour after I'd showered. Yeah. You know, I woke up, I woke up what are you guys doing here? Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> well, we're trying to, <laughs> we all seen you naked. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a good, not a good thing. I can imagine. So. Yeah, I didn't get any award that night. Yeah, no, no, not from anybody. No, no. But yeah, that was so. He was pretty. He had a pretty interesting life. So it was kind of cool growing up around him because he was he was a very normal human being. He didn't, you know, when people would recognize him, he he stop and sign autographs wherever, whenever he didn't. Well, I mean, care. Th- just the character, just okay. Th- I don't know that uh, you know, being uh, you know, involved in military, things of the nature, but that the character was just such a, it was just a lovable character, just always yeah. getting caught, squeezing the sharp. Well, you know you how know. That, uh, that happened? He got his agent called him up and said, uh, you know, I want to send you on an audition for toilet paper. My dad says, how do you audition toilet paper? <laughs> and his agent goes, shut up, just go on the audition. And he went on, because he was kind of a smart ass. and he went on the audition, and those half glasses he wore, those were his reading glasses, because he couldn't see the copy. So he puts those on, and he's reading the script, and they went, love that. And he went, what? And they go, the glasses. He goes, well, I can't see without these on. And they're like, yeah, we love it. And that's how he wore those half glasses, because he, he couldn't see. Yeah. So, yeah, that was that was how that character developed. But well, I mean, was it to him that came up with this, the, the squeeze, you know, the dough squeeze that sharp? Or, or was, was no, that, that, was, that was the ad campaign. It was so okay. soft that you'd, you know, you, you squeeze caught just squeeze squeeze yeah. 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 yeah, squeeze in the boobie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was a yeah, squeezably soft is what the yeah. deal is, which was which was hilarious. But, you know, like my dad said, you know, toilet paper to you, bread and butter to me. So, <laughs> yeah. Paid the well, bills. Everything, yeah. everything gets sold some way or oh, yeah. other. Yeah, yeah. So I, uh, I was on a phone call earlier before we ever got on the air right now, and they were talking about uh, a delivery system as a suppository. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, yeah. Uh, so okay. <laughs> that's yeah. well, I get when you think about what's the best way of getting medication into a human being's body. Yeah. A lot of people think it's orally. No, uh, no, no. it's not. No, yeah. So it's kind of going, but it's kind of like, who wants to have that job? It's kind of like going, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> the whole thing, and, and sorry because your kids are in college, but, uh, but that's that whole thing with kids getting high now, like drinking. They do it that way. It's, really? just, it's instant. Pour it up their ass. Yeah. Uh, no much. Yeah. So is that, is that the, the, the beer bog? What do you call? <laughs> yeah. What do you call that? The, the butt bog? Or I, I don't. There, there's, there's a term <laughs> colleges have, and I'm like, I don't really care. Wow. No, Don, have you I heard like, that one? I mean, yeah, I, I, I that would kind of escape me. Yeah, yeah, I like it. They're keeping that secret on it. <laughs> on the drive in, I was listening to that, and I'm going, "You got to be kidding me!" And it's a whole thing apparently in colleges. Well, I, I would think of it would, uh, again. It would take even a lot less alcohol to get the same job done because again, talking about spitting something back up. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna blow. Watch out! <laughs> and they, apparently, they don't have alcohol obviously on their breath, uh, so they can go to class and whatever and still be high, but you can't you can't detect it. Oh wow! It's the weird. <laughs> Kids are just out of their minds right so, now. So. Okay, I take it there's no kind of sobriety test for that one now, is there? I, I don't. I don't. I didn't even want to know. I, I can inquiring minds just want to know over here. Just, yeah. There's just so much that we could talk about here right now. Yeah, I don't. It's, Bend over. I'm going to check you to see if you've been drinking. Uh, yeah, I can't. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. I'm, I'm content with yeah. that. Well, yeah. I was not real happy the first time I had to go and have my prostate checked there. He said, I can assume the position. I go, what do you mean, assume the position? Yeah, start it, barking like it, a dog. I mean, son. literally, the guy just... Because he's, he's, he's just, you know, we're, we're both standing there in, in, his, uh, in his room. He just says, so you just, all you got to do is go lean over on the, uh, the, uh, the table, table right here. And he goes, assume he goes, kind of like a linebacker position. I go, oh, so we're going to do the linebacker's position, and you're going to hit me with the old quarterback sneak here right now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, again, a very indignant uh, time. Sure, but it's kinda snap like, you know, just, back, crack back, something, you know. Yeah, they not, come in here. not good. Not good. Okay. I, I think I, I made a rather uncomfortable. I, go, I said, you know, Doc, usually someone's got to, 
you know, offer me a few drinks or, yeah, uh, you buy know. Buy me dinner. Yeah, think, exactly. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah, you know, something. You know. Something. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not good. Getting older is not good. No, it's uh, all these indis- indiscretions or uh, things that you have to be subjected to. I'm avoiding that one so far. Yeah, I've avoided have that one Have you really? Too. I think I'll just, I'll just go gracefully to the grave. Even well, if it's early. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. avoiding that one, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if it's I, early, hey, that's, that's, I, that's worth 10 years of, uh, you know, off my life. Yeah, I, I was going to say, one. I did my, but I was actually like, I think of like 12 years after the fact. I mean, you're supposed to do it at age 50, I yeah. think. Yeah. No, that didn't happen. Yeah, no, again, like same, same way for myself. Like, oh, yeah. it, it wasn't until just, I think, just a couple years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, you know, I'm, I'm good now. I think I'm, you know, it's like, oh, if, if I made it, you know, basically 60 years, you know, 60, 61 years away now, and I'm good to go. I I should be good for the other half now, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't yeah. have anything. What, to was, what was that, uh, Fletch or something like that? It's just, what, what the, you lose your watch or something? <laughs> <laughs> hey, take off that class ring. Oh, yeah. Yeah, not good. Not All good. kinds of jokes here with that kind yeah. of stuff. We, we, went, we went right in the toilet instantly. Y'all right yes, we that. did. I yes, we did. I on you for that, yeah, you know, yeah. always. Ever, ever since I met you, it's been yeah. just shitter. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, that, I mean, what, what, what set did you guys actually meet on originally? We, we met in, in New York. We were both, I don't know what film you were doing in New York. I was yeah. doing a separate film. Right. Both stunt departments ended up meeting up at, a, I think it was a, a pizza place. Yeah. Oh. And uh, we were just talking about before the show started, I, I watched an interview with Don where this before women fought in the UFC. Yeah. And one of Don's interviews, he said, if the UFC gets one more rule, the, the fighters are going to have to wear skirts. And I brought that up to him there, and he says, oh, I remember saying that. And we just kind of BS'd, and we kind of hit it off, and we exchanged numbers. And I think a few years, a couple years after that, I think uh, I think you were out in L.A., and we yeah. got together and grabbed lunch, yeah. I think it was. Then we came up with Predator's Predictions. Yeah. I yeah. did, and he stole it. Yeah, I stole it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've made millions off it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Made millions off it. I don't know where the money is, but it's, it's yes. probably right there out somewhere. there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Somebody Just owes waiting. me money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Flying in the iCloud, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's where it's probably at. The yeah. iCloud. Yeah, with all my pictures. Yeah, yeah. Shit. I don't know how to get those either, but that's fine. Yeah. So that's how we, that's how Don and I met uh, in New York, and then, uh, like I said, we went out to lunch in L.A. and then started came up with the Predators predictions and did Whoa, that. Wait, no, wait, wait. We met in New York, and then we had. A heterosexual meeting, and then we had a heterosexual lunch. In, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, they were both in, heterosexual, yes, yes. as far as I was heterosexual. concerned. Heterosexual. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't want to say anything about the skirt you were wearing. Yeah, I'm just the saying. lipstick you had. Yeah. Well, you know, it's yeah. my, my favorite shade. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. You kind of confusing me over here. I mean, yeah. it's kind of going okay, but uh, you know, well, as long yeah. as everyone woke up it this sounds, morning, it sounds I, like a, we we met in New York and then we had lunch in L.A. Oh yeah, then, you know what? That did sound kind of, kind of bad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That did sound bad. Okay. So we were doing two different films in New York and cross paths. Uh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Cross paths. Yeah. That's right. better. There you go. And then uh, in because I live in L.A. and Don was out there, we. I don't know. What we, well, we can't, we can't say we had lunch now because that just seems odd now. Yes, it seems. So, uh, well, like it was like we went out to dinner last night with Quinn. Oh God! And some whole gal, she eluded the you know that we were together. And I'm like, no, 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 we're not together. That and, and, and older gal said this. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he says, "Perfect." He says, two, two fucking heterosexual guys can't go out." You know, <laughs> anymore than anybody first assuming that they're and, queer. And like we talked about it later, I could do way better than him. <laughs> so, <laughs> look, look at him. You think I would settle for that? I would have to be drunk. I would have to, I mean, I could do way better than you. Jeez. Yes, you well, wish, but some, yeah. some of those expressions of, uh, oh, I've never gone to bed with uh, an ugly person, but uh, you've woken up with well, a few, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right right exactly. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, this so has already kind of turned really kind of into an I'm, ugly interview you, man, right yeah. now. Yeah, but, I think that's very strange. Yeah, it's all, it's all gone really off the rails. Yeah, just like just like our show did. Our show, you know, is going good for a while, and it just took a shit right, boom, exploded. You know, yeah. The 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 girl was so intelligent. She was a uh, our first girl was great. Allie was great. Oh, I she was a divorcee, and then what, working, what, okay, working part time as a bartender, <laughs> and then decides she needs a third family. Yeah, you know. Yeah, she so was, that her, her timing was off. Yeah, that really ruins. off. Yeah, she, uh, she. Yeah, and now that she's her, her husband passed away, so now she's really. Yeah, she wants oh. to to do the show again, 
we got a girl in that other girl we interviewed that was terrible. Yeah, oh my God. She, there weren't just, any, uh, you know, unusual circumstances the way that her husband passed away or anything like that, was there? Or be there always is. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I have no idea. But, I just heard through Simon, our director, that, that the husband had passed, so. Well, okay. You didn't tell me she got married. I just thought. She, oh yeah. Oh, I just thought she got pregnant. <laughs> no, she did get pregnant. Yeah, get pregnant, and then married the guy, and then oh, the guy okay. passed. So, oh, okay, yeah. okay. So hopefully we'll get her back and do the show again. But who knows? But uh, yeah, then we had we interviewed this one gal, and uh, and at that time Molly, my ex wife, looked good. You know, and, yeah. we're, and he's like, why the fuck are we interviewing anybody? I'll well, we'll just stick her in it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> well, it was also like save money. Look, your your, yeah. your, no, no, I, I your get wife it. at the time is, is a good looking lady. Let's, you know, let's get her. She wanted to have nothing to do with it. Right. You know. But she wanted to be there for the interview to see who we were interviewing and what we were interviewing. And one gal, you know, I was talking about my horses, my pigs, and, you know, and my cats and dogs. And she said, oh, yeah, well, you had a pig when I was little. Really? What's his name? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How do you not remember your, your fucking pig's name? Yeah. And we, well, 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 Dad, okay. How many pigs did you have, like, growing up? I'm just kind of curious right now, because I, I oh, understand oh, the whole... You're, you're, no, no, no. You're going to play that farmer card? No, 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 no. You're pulling okay, the farmer no. card? Okay, because... You didn't okay. name Dad, yours. Dad. You ate yours. No, okay. <laughs> Yes, we raised pigs <laughs> on our farm. Did, we didn't pets. name anything. Right, they brought pets. Because yeah. sooner or later, they were out of the yeah. table, including <laughs> Peggy the milk cow oh. that we named, who I milked for seven years. Oh, oh. and then you yeah, And then Peggy. eventually, well, get, Peggy, you get to a certain age, and then they, they, dry, get, they dry up, uh, basically. Uh, it's kind of going, well, time to turn Peggy at the hamburger. That's what it was. Wow. We had a, we yeah. had a bull. And then, go. Yeah. We had okay. a steer out there. I, I, I want you to understand that wait, wait. Dan Severn has a sensitive side to him, though. I mean, oh, you know, when, 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 when finally we were having that meal that night, and, and all my other siblings and I were all kind of like, poor, Peg, poor, poor, <laughs> poor Peggy. And my, my, dad, my dad's like, well, Peggy never tastes so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But again, you just, that's just the farm life. You now don't we, get too close. I mean, well, my kids are literally, we had a steer out here. We bought a steer and named him Hamburger. <laughs> yeah. well, like, don't get too attached to hamburger. <laughs> well, did, okay, day, did you actually eventually? Uh, he, one day he ran away, yes. Okay. I understood. Oh, I understood. No. Okay. That, you did that quite nicely. Yes. <laughs> oh. God dang, he opened up the gate can't, and can't, closed it too. can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> he hated life here. Wow, that's, yeah, interesting. But he's nice enough to not to let the horses out. <laughs> Thank God he shut the gate behind him. Yes, that's yes. Yeah, that's perfect. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, cows are much smarter than what we give them credit for. Yes. Oh, there you go. Apparently. <laughs> not smart enough not to get caught and eaten, but right, you know, right. other than that, yeah. Smart yeah. enough knowing his name's Hamburger, he don't want to be there. Exactly. Exactly. I, I almost feel compelled to tell a story about Peggy. Here well, please do. Okay, please well, do. Pe well there, okay, we only had, actually, at, at one time point, we only had one milk cow. It, it was just her, but we didn't have any other. Well, we had some steers. Well, obviously, a steer can't do anything for right. to for reproduction purposes. So we we we, are, we were looking to see if we could, if we could have a, a couple more calves. So, on a couple of different occasions, we actually bring over like a local farmer that was good about doing the artificial insemination type of uh, progress. But the old big long plastic. Long oh long. my gosh, that was I was out there like. How's this all going to work right now? Now I see him right there with the big old soap and things that up, and he's like, got this big long plastic glove, and it's like, he's like, <laughs> I mean, he's all the way up to his shoulder. I'm thinking, oh my God. I think that's uh, what the plastic glove's for. Yeah, but, but again, the whole, gist, <laughs> the whole gist of the story was after the couple times I tried to artificially inseminate her, nothing ever really took. Then so one, you had to do it yourself. No, 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 no. So <laughs> she literally I'll volunteer. She she jumps. She actually uh, jumps our the electrical fence that we had, and actually bypasses half a dozen other farms that actually have bulls in that. Goes to this prize Charlotte bull. Wow. Jumps a six foot tall fence. So she but it just got pregnant by the Charlotte bull. So wow. you and her had a long talk. No, you know? no, no, no. I mean, said, well, if the, the, you're gonna pick one, pick one where you make some money. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but see, the, the the real comical part was we did not have like the the trailer stuff like that to bring her back. So literally, 
I am dressed up in a pair of coveralls. <laughs> I've got myself a baseball cap on, sunglasses, while I'm walking the cow five miles back to our home. <laughs> and now my mother, to add embarrassment, put a bonnet on, on Peggy. Yes. <laughs> Poor Peggy. Yeah, it'd be seen with you, God, for five miles. Yeah, so that was... That that's why, my, that's my why she had the moments. bonnet to cover her face. <laughs> out of embarrassment, yeah. Out of, she was mortified. Well, that was just my way that Peggy had somewhat of a reputation. She wasn't going to just sleep around with any other bull. Right. She bypasses all the, the, the lesser dance yes. to this prize Charlet bull. Uppity, okay. uh, she's an uppity bitch, huh? Yeah, well, good, you know. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a severn. Yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> it was just after we talked about those cars and how how, how I, I I don't I, I keep my Lamborghini uh, yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah keep your Lamborghini in inside the garage yeah okie dokie perfect spot well we've gone from Whipple to uh, Lamborghini to, uh, to Lambor- cows. yeah cows and uh, yeah okie dokie yeah, here is, uh, yeah it's it's all all over the all over the place hey, I, I didn't promise you you know Hollywood glitz and glamour buddy you know that's really? you well, grew up in that shit. what 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 kind of projects do you have coming up I mean I'm curious about that Steve I'm, I've got something with Bruce at the end of this month uh, I don't know what I haven't read the script I choose not to lately because they're all the same but they're basically all the you know these action things are just the same thing he's a he's an ex cop he's an ex this he's someone's done him wrong they kidnapped his wife kidnapped his daughter something like that and then you're he, ruining it for everybody. Come on, well, I'm now, saving dude. everybody money. <laughs> so uh, and, and that's that's exactly what happens. So I don't I don't read them anymore. The bigger ones I read. You know, if we well, have. A, I told a, my a, daughter Katie, you know, who goes to Johns Hopkins and she's going to be an author. I says there's only seven storylines in the whole world, and of course she doesn't believe me. You know, yeah. just dad. You're, you're, what does dad know, right? Yeah. Plus you yeah. Get, you get punched in the head for a living. You know, yeah. you're a moron. You know, yeah. so. <laughs> Yeah, my you're running that. the same so, way. Yeah. yeah, so then I said, check it out. And, you know, that's what Shakespeare said. There's yeah. only seven seven or nine storylines. It is it's pretty much the same. If you look at every action film, yeah. there's a format. There's a patented format for them, and that's why, mm-hmm. that's why they're the way they are. Well, it's revenge, or it's hate, or it's love, you know, yeah. or, you know, it, it's saving somebody, it's killing somebody. Yeah, I mean, like you said, there's seven yeah. or nine storylines. Total. Yeah, and a good director will make seven or eight, maybe even nine little films within one film. So each one has to sell itself right. to, to keep you involved as you keep going, you're progressing towards the end, and then you'll get to that 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 turn. I'm just wondering, is there ever, ever a movie that actually incorporated all of those elements that you just talked about? I mean, just all that. John Ford. John, okay. <laughs> okay, the dirt. John, no, no, the no, dirt. John okay. Ford, he would, he would, you know, run up... Uh, like Sir said, you know, uh, make it exciting, kill it with a he build build up all the the thrill and and, and the tension, and then he bust a joke and it come down, and then it build it build it and come down. But you start here, build it, bring it down, build it, bring it down, bring it, you know, to where it ends up here, you know. And it's it's well, like somewhat seven. like a professional wrestling match. Some yeah, of the absolutely. psychology right there, bringing yeah. the people out up, and then bringing it right back it down, bringing it a little yeah. bit further, bring it right down. And and build it, build it, build it. Yeah, for yeah. A big, yeah it's big just like the music with the films. credenza yeah. the hits. Yeah. yeah, the music with films is geared for that that you know tension. If it, if it's supposed to be tense, right. yeah, right. I just I mean I was actually. Quite impressed, to her, Mr. Fry, that you keep up with all these different uh, angles for movies like that. Because scenarios. Just, I, even, I, even, I, can, I can even pronounce Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah. I he, mean, doesn't, he doesn't know why. These, yeah. these are some words that, uh, that yeah. I don't think, that think I'd ever see come out of the Don's mouth here right now. No. That's why uh, he's doing it, to throw it yeah, in the Yeah, like, yeah. Well, you know. He must have, did, did you double down on your Geritol today or what? I uh, did, I did, you know. <laughs> He you just know. has a list of words that he always wanted to use. Yeah, right? that's okay. it. Today he's I got on my own. Yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> Shakespeare. He doesn't know why, but Shakespeare. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, like, what did Dan tell you his first stage appearance? He, he was, what, <laughs> oh, what, seven years, seven or nine yeah. years old. And, Here uh, we go. I bet. I have a my head in shame right now. Right well, now. I, I'm sorry. I got, yeah, it's a good story. I want to I tell it. I want to share it with Stuart. You're, you're, okay. really, you're rather proud of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. When he was okay. seven or nine years old, um, you know, he had a speech impediment. Uh, he had a real bad stutter. Right. 
And uh, so he goes, Mom, he goes home. Says, Mom, Mom I, I, I got a part in, in the school play. She says, that's great, Danny. What do you do? I, I, I open and c- close the curtains. She says, oh, that's horse shit. Oh, that's horse shit. I'm, I'm going to go down there tomorrow. You and I go down there tomorrow, and I'm going to talk to that, you know, drama teacher, and I'm going to get your speaking part. So... <laughs> You know, Mr. Severin hammers the shit out of this gal, and she says, okay, we've only got one, one, one thing left, and just one line. You know, he'll, he'll come up, he'll come on stage, and the princess will be uh, asleep, you know, and he'll say, alas, she sleeps. I'll snatch a kiss and be off. Shakes here. And so Mr. Severin says, okay, he can do it. So, you know, little Danny, you know, studies for, for a month. Mom, mom, mom I, 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 I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. All right let's hear it, Dan. Uh, alas, she sleeps. I'll, I'll snatch a kiss and be off. <laughs> Shakespeare. <laughs> I, <Yeah>. I, <laughs> <laughs> go go, oh, go ahead. You know the ending of the story. No, no, no. I, I, you I, know I, the ending of the story. I, I, no, it's rather I, rude of you to do this. No, I'm trying to tell him, Sherry, <laughs> part of you growing up. No, I, I, and you're being rude. It's I'm a sorry. big part of your life. Okay, all a right. A big part of your life. Okay. So here we go. Here, yeah, here comes <laughs> that that night. The you know, boom, and he's he's next. He's waiting in the wings, and he's a little nervous. You know, he's a little nervous, a little, little twitch in the lip, a little sweat in the brow. And it's, all right, it says, "Go, go, Dandy, go." He, he, uh, her her ass. It stinks. I'll kiss her, snatch, and beat off. Snake shit, spear shit. Oh fuck it! I didn't want to be in this play anyways. <laughs> he got in trouble for that one. He got in trouble. That, that's why he had to walk. Oh my god! That's why he had to walk piggy oh, walk, down. Walk piggy back yeah. Yeah, down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, nothing to be uh, saying. You got rid of the stutter. You're doing great now, Dan. Yeah. You should be proud. D- Dad, I, I should thank you for the, the, the gift of the laughter here right now. <laughs> oh, That's very good. Bye. That's very good. You brought, you brought tears to my eyes. I haven't remembered that one for yeah. fucking 10 years, maybe 15 years. I think it, you may, may have to go back a little bit further than that on that one. Yeah, wow. That's hilarious. <sighs> so. Wow, we have. Really, just <laughs> he's just got plummeted. Keep going on this subject. Yeah. All right. So, what, is, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing here, anyway, Stuart? You know, I just needed a place to sleep so I can yeah. you know, get some rest for my trip back to L.A. All right. Well, where you, where'd you come from? <laughs> oh, oh it's the past couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> oh, been great. Doing? I took my daughter. I left uh, uh, Thursday night. I spent it in L.A. My daughter couldn't get a flight home to Chicago and couldn't get a rental car, so we loaded her in my car. I left Friday morning. So Thursday night, I spent the night in L.A. Friday night, I was in Oklahoma City. Saturday night, I was in Chicago. Sunday night, I was in Memphis. Monday night, I was in uh, Midland, Texas. And Tuesday night, I was here. I've been all... And you can't wait to get the fuck out of here now, can you? (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You thought the first leg of the trip was bad, huh? Oh, man. Yeah. Tell us us, us about that, Martin. Oh, that was great. Yeah, my heater broke on the way out. So driving all through those states, oh, being, like, oh, being, a California, being a California boy, how do you dress? Oh. oh well, I thought it was because I was tra- traversing flip flip flops and shorts. What? Shorts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I figured we're going to be in a warm state, so my daughter wanted to forge ahead and get to Oklahoma City, so our drive on Saturday would be less. I'm like, that's fine. Starting to get cold, well, I'm turning the heater on. Oh my God, there's no heater, <laughs> so there's no heater, freezing to death. Yeah, I'm wearing shorts like an idiot. <laughs> and, yeah, when I got into hey, sh- moving down the road, you're going to see the USA. Yeah, my daughter said when we got to, to Oklahoma City, she, you know, we, we got a hotel, and I, I said, That's it. I, I just got to get in bed, get warm. She goes, You take a shower, get warm. I said, I'm miserable. I'm just going to get in bed. She said, Once I passed out, she said, I was just, I'll see her shaking all night long. I was freezing. I was still cold. Yeah, I'm still cold now. So. Yeah, you're making fun of me because I've been cold. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I've been cold this whole trip. It's been ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Don's making fun of me yesterday. I'm like, you got a heater in this car when we went out to eat? Yeah. 
Why? What's wrong with you? Freezing. Oh, you little homo guy. You like the you like that woman in in the, in the restaurant? Thinks that you know. <laughs> yeah, you're the one that came in with your lap dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my teacup. Yeah. My teacup bulldog. Teacup bulldog. You're in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, well, at least from Arizona back to California, you won't to really. I won't need to hear. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. I am so looking forward to getting close to home. No, nah, no, nah, you're gonna go through the fucking desert in, in nighttime. You're gonna, gonna be, be cold. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Oh yeah, I know that. yeah, yeah. Jumps. Yeah, but yeah. I say each night. I think I always, I always check the, uh, always check the the weather because I like to know. Always check to see what <coughs> what cold water Michigan's like. Yeah. And then it usually is somewhere at the, the teens. Makes you it, feel it, good for me in here. And it might actually get up to a, a boastery like, you know, 24, 25 yeah. or something like yeah. that. And I, I know that. Ooh, yeah. I like my choice. Chicago was 15 and Memphis was 26 when I got up. I'm like, come on, give me a break. Wow. You know, that's that's why I just shot down from Chicago to Memphis. I'm like, I got to head south. I got to get warm. So it was, and that didn't help at all. 10 degrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me a whole 10 degrees. Ooh. Yeah, it was miserable. So, uh, Should have bought a raccoon hat. You know? God, <laughs> I'm telling you. If I only had hair, my, my, my head would be warmer. Yeah, it was. It was Dan, Dan's yeah. got several raccoon hats, you know, he'll, but he'll yeah. sell them for you. Oh, okay. Sell them yeah. to you, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Dan don't do anything for free. That's yeah. a bad reputation, you know, yeah. I, I think. It's people really take advantage of you. Yeah, yeah, people do. Yeah, yeah you don't want to do that. That's for sure. You, you definitely don't want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> you always get taken advantage of when you try to help people out. Yes, always. You know. Yeah, no, no good deed goes unpunished. So no, Dan, Dan uh, averts that, that theory. <laughs> yeah, it, it eliminates all those people that you know get those phone calls and you know they call you up in the middle of the night. Hey, hey, I, I've been arrested tomorrow. Yeah, 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 I've been arrested. Can you yeah. make bail for me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, hola, como está usted? Yeah. Uh, uh, no, speak the French. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used yeah. to love those calls to help people move, and I used to help this one girl because I really wanted to sleep with her, and it never happened. But uh, uh, I used to help her move all the time. And the last time I helped her move, I'm taking a refrigerator upstairs in an apartment. Jeez. She's got nobody there but me. And I slip, and I fall backwards, and it lands on me. And I hear her hysterically laughing. <laughs> And I'm like, and it must have looked funny because just my feet were hanging out under the thing and it's laying on me on the stairwell. And I'm like, really? Really? This is, I'm helping you out. And this is what I get, you know? And that was it. Last time I helped anybody move. Like, I'm not doing it. I helped my kids. Other than that, nobody. No, I am not doing that. Well, I hate to break it to you. If you fell moving your kids and your refrigerator fell on you, they'd laugh harder. Oh, they would. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they would. They they would. They they don't respect me right now anyway. It's fine. Oh, God, no. No. Well, would they at least check to make sure you're still alive first before they start the laughter? I mean, that's usually. I mean, it's no, kind of. Like, it's usually the laughing. You know, the laughing goes first, and oh, checking yeah. for for vital signs is last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's it. I thought they were checking my pockets. Yeah, no, that's they're oh, checking yeah. for vital, money, yeah. that's vital signs. That's, yeah. oh, I get it. I get it. Yeah, they're telling you they're checking for vitals, but they're actually yeah. checking your pockets for money. Yeah. yeah. No, Pulling mean, your watch off. Well, I can't get a good reading until yeah, you know. Until I put that watch in my pocket. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. It's blocking your you know your pulser. Yeah, thank God none of them want my car, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're safe there. Oh, God. Yeah. Garbage. Severn don't even want your car. <laughs> Nobody wants my car. <laughs> no, for, for, so for fun, I know the trade-in value on a vehicle is terrible. My car, nothing works on it, and now we know the heater doesn't work. Nothing works on it, but I love that thing. I've had it forever. And out of interest, I did the Kelly Blue Book on my car, trade-in value. And I was brutally honest, the body condition, the mile. I got 250,000 miles on it. The trade-in value is 135 bucks for my car. Yeah. So my, wow. Yeah. So my neighbor goes to me one day. He goes, Stuart, why don't you wash your car? He goes, worth 135 bucks. I'm not washing my car. It'll fall I, apart. Yeah, why would I wash my car? The mud. You know, the mud's holding it together. Yeah. That spray down, so if it hits, it might take off the, oh, the bumper just, or something like that. It might collapse. It, yeah. might, it might collapse. I had a meeting at some uh, uh, restaurant in Beverly Hills, an afternoon meeting. And it was coming up during the week, and the front end of my car was all, you know, the paint was all faded. And I'm like, I can't pull into the valley with this thing. Though the sides look good, and the top look good. So I, I mask off the front, and I'm standing out there with spray paint in the front of my car. And my neighbor's a high end attorney, and he pulls up, and I see him, and he just <laughs> shakes his head. I go, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, my life is wonderful, and you're pulling down your street to your nice house with your wife and kids, and there's your fucking neighbor spray painting his car. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, I was kind of wondering what's going on. I'm like, yeah. Well, I, I hit a, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I go, I got a meeting, and I told him where I had a meeting, and he goes, and you're spray painting your car to go there? I'm like, yeah. 
Because I just don't. I you don't should, want to should have just said you're just practicing there so you can start going out and do some graffiti. Graffiti all, yeah, yeah, exactly. all over the neighborhood. Yeah, exactly. All over the neighborhood. Your Lamborghini's next, buddy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe I could get some, some uh, spray paint tips over here for, for, for my old vehicle. Yeah, oh, you know, yeah I got him. On that, yeah. I got him. I either have uh, the, the biggest piece of garbage on the planet, which is that, which I love that thing, or Don's seen my Lincoln. I've got old cars. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, yeah, my Lincoln is just what, stunning. 69? Six, uh, 67 convertible Lincoln. Wow. And the suicide doors. Yeah, the suicide doors. 36,000 original miles. It's insured with Barrett Jackson. It's considered the best 67 in the country. It's a quarter of a million dollar car. It's absolutely gorgeous. Does that just sit in your garage at or yeah. what's your address again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I used to drive. I used to drive it every weekend. I used to take it to the beach, get a cup of coffee, and drive Pacific Coast Highway, just cruise around. It's. Uh, I think the last time I had that thing out was about a month and a half ago, maybe. So how, how many miles do you think is out it now? Or oh, it just turned thirty six thousand original. I probably oh, have thirty six thousand yeah. original? original. Yeah. Well, yeah. PCH is pretty busy nowadays, right? Yeah, PCH is busy. Yeah, and, no one and get on that road. Shit. No, I mean, I'll, I'll take the slow cruise because I'm not. I, you don't go anywhere fast in that thing, right? You know, I'm working on the Chevelle now. I redid the rear end of the Chevelle oh, and the wow. trailing arms. I got a seventy SS four fifty four big block car. I don't right. think I've, I've I've ever bought a a vehicle with that low of mileage. Period yeah, to yeah. begin <laughs> with. <laughs> you were all sitting one. Either, I might have had a yeah. hundred and thirty. 7,000 miles yeah. out to it. I, f- yeah. I found it in a junkyard. I was looking for a project car for my daughter. This no my way. Daughter. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I'm walking around this yard, and I go, hey, you don't happen to have a 67 Lincoln Continental Convertible, do you? And the guy goes, oh, I got one in a month ago. We walk through his, his lot, and he pulls this tarp off this car, and there it is with all the pieces stuffed inside. And, and uh, he he got it some kind of lean sale through a body shop or what have you. I bought it for 9800 bucks. got it home. Cleaned out the gas tank, ran new lines, you know, put a, a battery in it. I said, okay, it's a $9,800 anchor. This thing's going to start. I turned the key and it fired. I went, son of a bitch. Wow. And then the pro- then, then it began. It was an eight-year restoration on the car. And, uh, yeah, it, it's 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 a beast. It's I, beautiful. Well, I, I can see you. I mean, it's solid metal. I mean, that's what you're saying. When you say it's a beast, I mean, that's, that's oh, yeah. a real beast it's right a there. It's a 6,000-pound car, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. back in uh, 18, 2018, Dan introduced me to a buddy of his, and he oh oh, he, oh. Did, he, I, did I this is something else that did, did yeah, I know? And, uh, yeah, did Dan get? T- 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 <laughs> uh oh, here we go. <laughs> back to the high school. Yeah. Back to the, the elementary school. Whoa, 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 and uh, oh, I've always wanted a you know caddy convertible because every every world every champion has one right. Yeah. So I I bought it from him and then I bought a, a parts sixty seven parts car for right. it and I, I still haven't seen him since twenty eighteen. Really? <laughs> yeah, I remember you talking about that. Yeah, I remember. I mean, does talking. he still have both I, vehicles? I hope he does. <laughs> I remember your Chevelle that you had me look at. Yeah. Oh, jeez. He bid on a car. It's in my my neighborhood, literally like a couple miles away from me. He already bid on it. He wins the bid, and then he goes, would you go look at the thing? I'm like, now you're telling me to go look at the thing? Oh, it was a piece of garbage. Yeah, they lied all oh, the way through. Oh, I, I walked up, and I saw it instantly. Like, the top is ripped, and I went, oh, my God, this thing's a piece of garbage. The fucking the doors don't line up, you know. Well, what happened? I mean, if you won this bid, I mean, did you have to go pick it up, or did you I, sit I, there? I told them shove it up their ass. Oh. And, and I, only a way that Mr. Fry could yes, say those. So, so those politely, words. You yes. didn't stutter at all, though, did you? No, yeah. not a bit. <laughs> <laughs> totally understood what he said when he said it. Yeah, yeah no, that thing, oh, my God. I told him, Don, what the hell's wrong with you? You know, if it's in my neck of the woods, let me know. I'll look at it first. But <laughs> I didn't have that, t- that amount of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had to buy that. I had to yeah. buy it now. I had to yeah. buy it now. Yeah, that thing was a piece of garbage. God. Yeah. And now I'm not allowed to bid anymore. So. <laughs> Yeah, he ruined his he ruined his reputation. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> there that that's where you where you ruined your reputation. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. well, it was a, it was the cousin of uh, Matt Gaffari who owned it. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, there's a that's the name from I haven't heard it in a long time. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Oh no, where is where is Matt? You know? As far as I know, I think he's back in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Oh, oh wow, good old Cleveland. Yeah. Matt or Steve, ba- Steve Baby Oaches is from Cleveland, and he's a buddy of mine, so I'll, I'll give him that. But yeah, we, we worked there, not good. Yeah, yeah. No, 
you can have all those cold places for work, by the way, to hell with that. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm too old for that crap. Oh, no. Can't be cold anymore. Just no, by you showed that last night, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I'm telling you. trip, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. working in the cold is the worst. I, I just, oh, I can't stand it. Just can't stand it. I mean, well, as one gets older, I mean, I just know it's easier to joints. I mean, they yeah. hurt, tend to ache and hurt more when you're in the cold. Oh, yeah. Do you every, find that yeah. there? That as well. Yeah, it's yeah. not fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everything hurts, yeah. Thing is, I could, I could tell you two days in advance if it's going to rain, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and I don't know why I feel that way until it rains two days later. And I go, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I can't stand I can't do the cold. Thank God, you know, with Bruce, he doesn't work nights anymore because I hate nights. Oh, God, I hate working nights. But nights are over. So he Before work. you do, do, like, night shoots? Yeah, days? yeah. Okay. He, yeah, so he doesn't do night shoots anymore. It's in his contract, which is wonderful because I hate working at night. You just can't get on schedule when you're working all yeah, through right. through the night, and uh, so yeah, he won't do it anymore, which is fantastic for me. You know, let alone to hell with him, you know, you know. But for me, it's great; it's fantastic. You've been d- doing it for eighteen years, uh, sixteen years. Well, they're going into our seventeenth year where I've done forty five films doubling them. Wow! Yeah, wow. yeah. So, uh, which is the toughest? Did you get hurt? What was the worst injury you suffered on? On. Um, I think well the last Die Hard when I got the comp- uh, the compression injury and I got the nerve damage in my right arm, but that one they dropped me on my head on the stage in Budapest of all places, and I hit the stage floor and I'm like ah oh, crap and I couldn't feel anything can't feel my body I'm like oh great of all places in the world to be yeah. paralyzed I'm in Budapest Hungary and I'm just laying there on the stage floor looking at the ceiling going this isn't good this is there's nothing good about this at all and uh, you know everybody came over you all right I'm like give me a minute let's see what happens and, and I uh, hope so yeah. yeah and so it started coming back feelings started coming back I'm like okay and uh, because the angle I landed it, it gave me a compression injury in C5 6 and 7 which gave me nerve damage in my right arm yeah but I still had the whole film to do so you know I just made sure that I was protected you know made sure my spine was protected and all this stuff for different gags we were doing but you know, I'm getting hit by an SUV and coming off the front of it, and it's like after that, I'm like, oh, this is not good. Mm. Just and you just wo- you just worry every time you're doing something, is something gonna go? You know, right. go all cattywampus, and it didn't, thank God. But yeah, yeah, I mean, this the series of injuries. It's just after a while, you just I, I've I've skated pretty well with with all the stuff I've done, but then you have those things that just last. You know that you know both knees uh, tore my left. Blew out both knees and tore my left quad in one film in rehearsals. <laughs> rehearsals? Rehearsals. Jeez. Yeah, this was uh, when we did a film called The Surrogates. It's the first film Bruce ever requested me for. And so I'm like, the first one, Live for Your Diary, that I did, I thought it was just a fluke. I doubled him on that film, but I didn't know I was his double. And then the very next film he did was The Surrogates. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. You know, he's requesting me. This is something. This means something. And we were rehearsing this gag where I'm on a wire and I'm running across a shipping container. And when I get the end of the container, they hit the button, and I fly 32 feet to the next shipping container in the parking lot. You hit the button? No, the, the, oh, the effects okay. guy hits the button. Right. <laughs> and so I'm run, we're doing this all day long, and there's there's when you wear a harness, there's different areas, they call pick points, that you put the wire, and different points make you fly a certain way. Or, and they don't want him to look super, he's superhuman, but they don't want him to look like Superman. So we keep messing with the pick points, and um, so, okay, ready to go. So I look at the effects guy, thumbs up, thumbs up, we're good. Okay, and action. Running across the shipping container, I get to the end of the container and I leave, and the guy's hitting the button. The button fails, oh, oh. and I'm, I'm I'm going, it's gonna Uh-oh. work. You know, you, you, think, <laughs> yeah. you keep thinking Any all, now. all the way to the parking lot. You think it's gonna work? You know, you're like, it's gonna. Uh. We had pads out there. We didn't have pads there where I landed. Mm. You know, and that how, how far of a drop was that? <coughs> shipping container is like nine and a half feet. Okay, it's not that bad. I mean, yeah, it was that bad. When you're not planning on it, it's bad. But uh, that blew out both knees and tore my left quad. And so since it was the first film that I was that was requested by by Bruce, um, the coordinator goes, "All right, okay." So he goes, "Tape up," and we tape my knees up, my quad up. And uh, anytime I had any action to do in the film, he'd come up to me earlier and he'd go, "Go jog around the parking lot." And I go, "All right," <laughs> and then so I just hobble around the parking lot till my legs got warm, and then we we do whatever we had to do. Yeah, I was miserable in that one. Uh, wow, I and can't I got, imagine. Yeah, I got it. I got my. I got my left knee fixed. Yeah, I got my left knee fixed. You can't do anything about the quad. I got the left knee fixed, and then I was supposed to have my right knee fixed, but then I was doing a film where I got hit by a car, and I'm like, well, I'll probably go to the hospital anyway, so I don't want to fix it first, and then I have to go back to the hospital. So, But I didn't get I didn't get injured. Other than cut, I didn't, yeah. you know, I, I got cut pretty good, but I didn't get 
damaged like I thought it was. So I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'm not going to fix it. But then on occasion, I'll just be walking around the house and my right knee gives out. I'm like, ah, <laughs> you fall down like an idiot. Kids are like, what's wrong with you? Just, yeah. just, just dad, he's an yeah. idiot. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, I drink too much. Yeah, he's got problems. Yeah. yeah. I do drink too much, but. It's, um, <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get your quad back? No, but the, the weird thing is certain exercises, you know, I was telling Don, you know, I've, I've been trying to add like leg exercises and stuff to my daily routine, which I'm not a happy camper doing legs, but this quad. It, Squats, it, leg extensions, yeah, it, leg it, curls. It, yeah, it cramps. The, in the weirdest position, it'll just, it'll just zap me. And I'm like, and it just gives me like a Charlie horse. And I'm like, God dang it. And then I stretch it out. I stretch everything out before I do anything. And it just sometimes just zaps me. And I'm like, you son. Yeah, I lost I lost my right quad. Yeah. Um when I broken I broke the rods and didn't know it, you know, as going around for you know, two, two and a half years and didn't know it until I came out of the coma. Yeah. You know, and I looked down and thought, Oh, I lost my quad while I was in a coma. Yeah. Wait, oh, yeah, you were in a coma that long. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, and you you don't you know, when you're you're trying to walk, you're yeah. trying to stay busy. You don't look down, you know, and check your check yeah. your body out. You know, well, you're I've just, never had that, so right. I didn't know what the hell it was. Yeah, then, you, right. but I have that divot in my leg, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, and the medic goes, yeah, you tore your quad. I'm like, oh, okay. Along with my both knees, which is great, <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's like the aesthetics. Like you know, I got I got no hair. I'm older. And when I when I blew my shoulder out, so I get this lump here. So I tore all the ligaments in my shoulder going out a window in New York, and. Uh, well, I was, you know, next time just pay the fucking bill. I know. I mean, I mean, it's like him. I, but I, I like you, I said, you see what happens when you sneak out of a hotel window. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> pay the damn bill. <laughs> if you drink too much, you, you have to dive out through the window. You can't. You can't leave. Yeah. They'll catch you and make you pay for it. Right. But uh, yeah, that was the biggest bummer for me. Is the shoulder was droopy, and I'm like, God dang it. So now you know I'm older. I got no hair. I got my shoulder. <laughs> and my shoulders hanging down. I'm like really. Like Quasimodo. Yeah. Like Quasimodo. Yeah. 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 I'm starting to become even more and more unattractive. <laughs> you know, God, damn, this is not good. I, I started thinking that uh, uh, a cage fight career is actually a whole lot safer than being a stuntman here now. I mean, I just have to hear it all, all the, the things that's happened to you. I don't know. Remember, remember my buddy Jeff Pogursky, the, the, the boxer, kickboxer guy, the cowboy? Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff's deal was he was doubling James Gandolfini and get shorty. And Rene Russo, he, was, he threw himself down a flight of stairs. And... You know, Rene Russo goes, oh, you know, don't you, you worry about that? And he goes, I was a professional fighter. He says, the guy across the ring from me was trying to kill me. At least I know what I'm getting into. Yeah. You know, at least I know that this is what's going to happen. This is what I'm doing. But you don't know what that other guy is going to do. Uh, Dan doesn't fight, as he told me before. Right, it's yeah, just competition. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> I'm just competing. <laughs> exactly. Nothing exactly. personal. Yeah, yeah. I know this really doesn't hurt because you're competing as I'm well. Not really hitting, yeah, yeah. I'm not really hitting you. <laughs> yeah. I'm competing. Yeah. You know, as they say, sometimes love hurts. That's all I can say yeah. right exactly. now. Exactly. You know, well, I'm you, a giver. Yeah, I'm you, just a giver. You love the shit out of a lot of the guys <laughs> that, you, that you didn't fight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Never been in a fight in my life. Okay, Dan. Yeah, because I was telling Don about that when I met you in Vegas. Yeah. Don. Well, I say it all the time because yeah. people think that people that jump into the case of it, that they must have a checkered pass and yeah. getting into all kinds of, you know, drunken, uh, violent type situations. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. It's funny when you look at it that way, though. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's true for the most part, you know, yeah. about most people that, that do it. It's a competition. Mm -hmm. But it is also hysterical. Especially the way you came to the ring. Ah, yeah. like, well, I'm just going to compete right now. In my shorts, my tights. <laughs> I'm just going to challenge myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go challenge myself. I feel sorry for that other guy. I'm just here to <laughs> challenge myself, yeah, yeah. not the other guy. Yeah. Got a few new techniques people. I want to work on. Like one's called a cheese grater. Yeah, I yeah. take the scruff of her face and show. Yeah. yeah. I think you suplex some guy in one of them, and I was like, Holy God, his body just was crumbled. Yeah, yeah it crumbled. Yeah, I'm like, I was say, that literally, that was good. my very first match ever. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just the, the way that crowd just, <laughs> they thought, I mean, they were, I think the, the, the commentators like going ragged out. They, they think they've never seen it with because they'd never said, see, oh, you know, yeah. To me, that, that's freestyle wrestling. That's Greco Roma wrestling. Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah, but yeah. there's generally weight classes. In well, it wrestling. <laughs> well, that's true. It you, was a little you easier. Him. You outweighed him by a couple of pounds. <laughs> Just a couple. Well, our, our, so here's the funny thing. What, what UFC were you in? Uh, seven? Uh, that one right there? No, well, uh, your first one was... was number four. Number, number four. four, yeah. So Art Davies, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, yes. back in the day, um, 
he put me as an alternate. This one they had once every like six months or whatever. He put me as an alternate. And he was asking me about weight. And I was, you know, I fought at 172. And, and so I said, oh, you know, come in 179. Then he bumps me as an alternate. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. And then he bumps me to, to that card as an alternate. And he says, well, are you going to come in at 170, uh, you know, 179? I said, no, I'll come in at 172. I'm faster. And he goes, I don't know about that. It's kind of light. <laughs> and well, you're not really looking for speed. For, yeah. for, for what card was that? Your card. For number four, really? Yeah. So then what he does is really funny. He calls me up. He goes, I think you're going to want to watch this one first. And I go, why? He goes, I got some big guys in this one. I'm like, okay. So he removes me from that. And I'm sitting home and I watch you come out. And I'm like, oh, God. You know, can, can, I, can you imagine just sitting in a locker room and having him go by going, I'm 172. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, next. <laughs> Where's my car? So was, you know? the, so was, uh, <laughs> what was Andrew? Anthony Macias, yeah. Macias, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was the one because it, it's when it, your first appearance on that. And, and he literally goes, he calls me up because I think you're going to want to watch this one first. And I went, <laughs> okay. And I remember sitting home doing my pay-per-view and going, Oh God! You know, I couldn't. I couldn't imagine having you walk by, and I'm just sitting there. Oh, man, maybe I'll get in there tonight. Man. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> an e- it's an eclipse. Yeah, yeah. What happened here? What happened? I'll be out of the car. Yeah, but okay, but yeah. but but Don, when you start looking at some of the other fellows that finally, you know, we look at like a Paul Varlins. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a big man. He was a big thing. man. Yeah. yeah, he was a big, he was a big boy, monster. He was a. What was that Indian guy too? With that. Uh, uh, Chief something or whatever. Remember that? Yeah, I think you Chief J. Strongbow? That's no, for wrestling. Professional. <laughs> no, no, no. You, remember, you remember that one guy? He was he, he, he wore, like, the black singlet. Yeah, he yeah. He was oh. a big. God, he was big. Like, 380. No, 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 no. no. <coughs> he was only, no, he was only two-something, yeah. Only two something, bro. It just all, it all depends on what, what you step by the scales. That yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I was just yeah. thinking I'm 172, two something. <laughs> it's only two. You something. guys are like, that's nothing. I'm like, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it actually kind of is. Yeah. One of the ironic parts, so uh, I mean, never the, the size thing never bothered me much because I, I'd be an, as a amateur wrestler, you typically you work out with people one weight class be, below you, at your weight class, and one weight class above you. Right. Well, in, in college, and that. You know, there's I, I competed at the 190 pound weight class, so I'd be with the 177 pounders, 190 pounders, and then heavyweight. Right. Well, at at this time uh, era at Arizona State, or I guess I should say across the country, heavyweight weight class was unlimited. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whereas I mean, like, uh, uh, I mean, there's a there's a ceiling up to it now. You can't weigh more than uh, 260 or 85. I think it's like 275, yeah. 275 or 285 is is what the max on that. But at that time. Uh, Big James Mitchell weighed 420 pounds. I mean, that was the closest that they, I mean, because weight scales that they did not even go that that yes. high. So, and I'd had to work out with uh, Big James Mitchell in the preseason three times a day, you know. Wow. And then, that, you know, then we get, got to just a normal practice, just only once a day. That was enough. Yeah. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I was, I was used to throwing some really big people at that point in time. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're just, it's like when I, when I fought as a kickboxer, I fought for a guy named Benny the Jet. And as an amateur, the the bulk of the people in the gym were, were world-class fighters, professionals. So those were the guys I was getting in the ring with. So when I'd have my amateur bouts, that was easy. Because I've, I've been in with the best fighters yeah. in the world who right. are not killing me. You know, they're, they're, they're getting a workout. They're not killing me, but they're pushing me. You know, so when I got it with another amateur fighter, I was light years ahead, you know, just because of the competition I was in there with during training, you know. But, uh, yeah, that, that was, yeah, when 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 I saw you on that, on that first year. Wow, well, see, like, I, oh. that actually is really interesting. I did not know that, that you were actually were, were, were going to be, had the potential to be in UFC number four. Potentially, yeah. Yes. Yeah, three, yeah. <laughs> three and four, and I'm, I'm glad he called me. There's no, there's no graceful way to, to come in as a fighter. There's no graceful way to run to your car and take off. You know, <laughs> when you get there, there's just Well, like, actually, that's what was going on when UFC 3. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, they ran out of um, of fighters. And With the ex- Steve that- Jenham. Steve Jenham was out in the parking lot getting getting into his car. Really? When they grabbed him, yeah. Get back here. You know? Really? Yeah. Well, I, can, that, I can imagine that he had one one fight and he won, you know. And yeah, it's which it no literally is that fair if you, if you're an alternate right. and, and or if you're the guy that's already <laughs> had two previous matches, right. yeah. And now you have alternate. That's so again. There you well, can. Well, I don't know if you if you look at the two fights as a warm up for the for the uh, championship fight. Yeah. You know? But the alter, <laughs> the alternate thing is kind of weird to me because in retrospect, when you look at the alternate thing, you've picked the people that you think are the greatest competition for the event. 
And then you got these other guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's almost because yeah. if those other guys were anything you thought was worth a damn, I would think that they'd It'd already be, be on the car. Right. So in retrospect, I'm looking going, yeah, I guess he was right. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's how it was in UFC 10. Yeah. When, you know, I, I was done. I was shot. You know, I yeah. woke up sick that day and I went downhill. I mean, I was downhill the whole day. Yeah. And then I had those two fights. And then when it was time to go out and fight Coleman, I was like, you know, had nothing, yeah. nothing. But I looked around at the alternates, you know, there's Gaza Coleman. <laughs> Gaza. He would have done it. I mean, just, I, I just know him, but he would have done it. Oh, yeah. He went out there and got slaughtered yeah, yeah, exactly. five seconds. You yes, know? yes. Coleman would have just. You know, yep. grabbed hold of him, yep. and he'd have pissed himself and sl- broke his neck slipping into the piss. You know, shit. I mean, he's funny. The guy yeah. Gaza should be a comedian, but yes. not a fighter. He's right. a, from from actually from professional wrestling. It was actually it was, it was, oh, it really? was great. Yeah, yeah. And Dan got him in as an alternate. You know, oh really? Yeah, but he was not a fucking fighter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was ironic because there were a couple of the I'll just say some of the uh, officials from UFC. They had to be watching, be working out, and I was working out with a couple guys. And Gaze had had, had already uh, had confided me that he would like to try to get in. But I'm thinking he's got no martial arts background, he's right. got no fight background, stuff like that. So I'm like, okay. So, but I had already been about professional a little bit, and and he that's all and he ever did. So literally, I'm like, okay, just start tossing me all over. So he's tossing me all over the way, stuff like right. this. Just get these guys are freaking out. Up, they're thinking, who's this guy right now? That's right. that's uh, throwing dance ever all over the place, and and so that's and all. He's game. not throwing him. You're jumping. You're well, taking, I, I get. You're but, doing the fucking move. But it's professional wrestling, right? Okay, but that's different than him <laughs> oh. throwing you around. Yeah. Exactly. He's, he's following you. Yeah. You're yeah. jumping. He's following yeah. you. Yeah. But again, it's it just, different than different than him throwing you around. Okay. Okay. Point we, well we, given. We know what they're thinking. They're thinking he's yes. throwing you around. But but if they don't know any better, and that's the, that's the magic yes. of it. If right. they don't know any better, it's like you know pressing the guy with the head, but he's got the hands. Yeah. The, well, yeah. If he's not doing that, that's you're a strong son of a bitch. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. Your hands are out here. Yeah. yeah you're, a, you're a strong son of a bitch. You know. But uh, well, that's the same thing. In the Scott stunt. Norton could do that. <laughs> but yeah. That's the same thing in the stunt business. You know, we'll have a guy, I got to launch him over here. I'm like, I can't launch the guy over there. So he'll get a run at it. Right. We'll build a ramp. And I'm touching him as he goes by mm-hmm. and he's self launching. It makes me look like yeah. a hero. But it's like, I can't do that. Yeah. Well, it's like when we did the movie Glass, I got the, I suppose you have the, the, uh, the other stunt guy on my back. We have this fight. He jumps on my back. And they go, we need you to run up this pile of bricks. They're not even solid, they're just a pile of bricks. You know, about three and a half feet high, and go out this window. Oh, and I'm geez. like, he weighs what I weigh. By the time I get to the top of the bricks, if I get to there's the top no of the jumping. bricks, there's no jumping. There's no jumping. I probably wouldn't be able to break the glass. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so uh, my buddy had come by to hustle the set, and he was a football player. He was like 260. And I was wearing a poncho, and, and I said, Do you, are you able to tell the size difference when he's wearing a poncho? We put the poncho on him. They go, No. Great, you just got a job today. Yeah. And all he had to do was he had to have the, the, the stunt guy on his back, run up these bricks, go out the window. We had a pad this far below the window. You know, that's all he had to do, but he got a day's work out of it, which is fantastic. Right. And then when we actually did the actual fall out the window, that was just me and, and, and the stunt guy doing it, you know, doing a three-story thing. But, uh, but yeah, it, I couldn't run up the bricks. I'm like, I can't. What am I? Super, I can't run up the bricks. Right. I just knew by the time I got to the window, if I made it to the top of the bricks, I wouldn't have enough energy to even break it. Yeah. But, Bounce right <laughs> yeah, off yeah, of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing with tempered glass. When you go through tempered glass, if it doesn't break, they dead it. If it doesn't break, the joke is with stunt guys is, you know, hey, if the glass doesn't break, don't laugh at me. And don't worry, we'll stop laughing when you regain consciousness. <laughs> and that's, that's kind of the deal because if you get a run at tempered glass and it doesn't break, it bounces you back into the room. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. So you never know. So you, anytime you're running towards that temper, it's like, oh, son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're hoping it breaks. Wow. You're really hoping it breaks. And that's that one in New York when I blew my shoulder out. The glass was so thick. You know, the effects guy got there, and somebody else had bought the glass. Effects didn't break. And, oh, you know, didn't buy it. And he goes, man, this stuff's thick. And I go, oh, God. And I said, I don't, I don't know about this. And he goes, I'm going to put every debt I've got on it, but I don't know if it's going to go. And so it was me and another stunt guy. And I said, well, let me go first. Because we're supposed to have a fight inside this thing, and all you see is this coming out through the window. And I said, I'll come out first, and I'll try to clear as much of the glass as possible, and then he'll come out clean. And uh, that's what you could see me come out, and the top doesn't break. So instead of coming and going oh, this way geez. out of my back, I came out this way. 
And uh, you can see the top doesn't break. And I just lawn darted onto my shoulder. But I made it to camera where I was supposed to make it. And he come at, came out a half beat behind. Just clean, just perfect. It was like oh. his fall was beautiful. I'm like, son of a. I think he got a cut like this long. You're laying there with the his. shoulder, huh? Yeah. You can't move. Tore all the ligaments in my shoulder and a big chunk out of my head. He's like, yeah, I got a little cut here. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you bastard. You bastard. You know, and he gets a purple heart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, they, like the idiot senator. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I got to take the video to the Bernsey Hospital. I'm like, this is how it happened, you know, which, which, was, which was cool. That's when the lady, that's when the lady, the, the the doctor, she goes, okay, yeah, you've torn all the ligaments, all this. She goes, I got these pain, you know, pills for you. I said, I don't do pain pills. I said, my hotel's got a really killer bar. And she goes, what? I go, going to the bar. <laughs> she goes, really? I go, yeah, I'm going to the bar. And that's where I went. I felt great that night. Yeah. Next morning felt like hell, but yeah, you woke up. Yeah, woke oh. up. Everything's bruised. <laughs> yeah, my driver it was really funny. The driver recognized me from a film called The Rundown with The Rock, the driver that drove me from the airport. And I didn't. I wasn't really aware that New York had three different airports. It was not my thing. I didn't know. And so I said, "Well, I will request you to to drive me back to the airport at the end of this this run." And he goes, "Yeah, okay, cool, great." And he shows up and he wants to take some pictures. Great. And he drives me to the airport, the airport that he picked me up at. It's not, the oh. airport I'm, it's not the airport I'm leaving from. Yeah. I didn't know that. So I, I can't move my arm. I mean, I thought I was going to have to have the hotel come help me put my shirt on because I couldn't raise my arm. I'm like, how am I going to do this? And so I get my stuff packed, and I, I get in the car. He takes me to the airport. I get up to the desk, and she goes, oh, did you change airports? And I went, no, why what? She goes, this isn't your airport. And I went, what? No time to get to the other airport. I'll right. never make the flight. Now I'm on standby. I got all the ligaments are torn to my shoulder. I can't move my arm. I'm miserable. A little hungover, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so I was on standby, and of course, where do I get? I get the middle seat in the back of the plane. Oh. I had a first class ticket on both ways. Right? No, I got I got the middle seat in the back. Couldn't even put my carry on bag in the overhead. I had to have somebody help me do it. I just sat there, and then this, this middle seat just miserable. But I'm like, I just got to get home. This Eight is, hour flight or no, six? Five, it's like five, five, five and a half from New York. Yeah, yeah, five and a half, six. Yeah, yeah. I was not a happy camper on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you kind of destroyed this whole myth of uh, of the life of, of someone being involved in the movies. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't like uh, the Fall Guy. It no. doesn't sound anything like the no, Fall Guy. Was, the Fall Guy was very glamorous. Steve movie. Austin yeah. made look great. Yeah, yeah it, it seemed really good. Yeah. You remember that, right? The, the Fall, Fall Guy, guy? I, I, back in the seventies. I never saw the Majors. Oh my god, the Majors was the. Oh, you were milking. Guy. You were milking pr- Princess or whatever. Yeah, cows with hats on. Yeah. Peggy, come on down. Peggy, Peggy, yeah. Peggy with I'm the hat. On the yeah. barn of Peggy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, your mom put the hat on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 not as glamorous as it's cracked up to be. Unless you're the upper echelon, like the unless you're the stars. You know they don't care about us. You come and do your thing and hope to do the, a good job, and then. And get you know, a pat on the back. Yeah, and get a pat on the back you. and go back to obscurity again. Yeah, yeah. Like Bruce back in the day, you know, when, when we were doing the bigger films, Bruce, which was great about him, is if he was anywhere near when I, I would do a gag, at the end of it, he was usually the first one on set to go, how you doing? Like, I'm good, boss. You all right? Yeah, okay. And then he'd walk away and go do what he, yeah. he had to do. You know, which, cool. yeah. which was always nice. You know, yeah. You're laying there, like, licking your wounds, and the guy that you're doubling, hey, how you doing? You all right? Yeah. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah, like this. And, and you know. So you'd have those moments, but if you pull off, so it's like anything. It's like you guys, you know, fighting and you win. That's that was your goal. And if if I'm doing a gag and I pull it off, and people for 20 seconds go, "Wow, okay, Stuart, that was great. Ah, oh, great." And then nobody cares again. It's over. Right? Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, yeah, nobody cares. They're just like, "See you later, bye." You know, on to the next project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of the way because the actors are coming in. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, so, yeah. I'll try not to try not to hobnob with the with the elite, but uh, but yeah, no, it's it's a blast. It's fun, you know. Has its moments. Yeah. Yeah. It has its moments. Any regrets? None. 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 I mean, look. You I don't mean, think you you don't regret not being in front of the camera, <coughs> repeating the line, telling somebody you love her? No, <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, maybe I could have done that. I don't know. I've done some acting bits, with, you know, not that I wanted to, but, but a lot of times with stunt people, especially on a production, if they don't want to hire uh, if they don't have the money to hire an actor and then hire a double for the actor, they'll try to get a stunt person that can act. Right. And I guess I'm pretty good at it. I don't want to be, but I guess I'm pretty good at it. But I've done stuff like uh, when we did uh, Live for Your Die Hard, there was, uh, there was this one actor, he's a Maori guy, and he was playing like the FBI guy, the head FBI guy. He ended up going on to a TV series called, I think it was called Trauma. And uh, he was a butthead on, to, he was a butthead to me on Live for Your Die Hard. Yeah, and now he's the star of trauma, and I'm doing this gag on the side of a building on a window washer platform. And as the platform comes down, the wire hangs up, 
And so the platform's at an angle here, and I suppose he, you know, f- tried to fix it, and then they cut the cable. And so then the, the platform drops, and, and it hits and spits me out, and I'm dangling there, you know. So we do this deal, and, and after I do that a few times, then they've got him on a line, and they're lowering him down, and he's the, you know, he's the, he's the, uh, uh, the firefighter that's going to come save me, and I'm dangling there you know, <laughs> below this deal. The, the saving grace for me is he's coming down. I remember him being a butthead when we did Live For Your Die Hard. He was just a butt for some reason. So as he's coming down, now, mind you, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm on this platform. It's coming down. They're cutting it. It's bouncing, spitting me out, you know. And so I'm hanging below this platform, and he's coming down. He's, he's not even repelling. They're, they are actually lowering him down. And he's coming down being all macho. And at one point, he looks down. I don't know why he did, but so he's coming down da, 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 to save me. And he goes, <laughs> he looks down and goes, and locks on to the, to the table. <laughs> I'm hysterical. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, there you go, you macho firefighter guy. <laughs> you know, he, he is just, he has the death grip on that. They have to come down and get it. Yeah. <laughs> they have to come get him. And I'm like, I'm there like, really? Seriously? Are we doing this right now? He, yeah, he, he panicked. It was, I've never seen anybody do that. It was, it was great fun. <laughs> it's great fun to watch that. Yeah, it was it was really hysterical to watch that. It was great, you know, because then you think about the, his attitude before. And yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, there you go. Okay, I'm yeah. just a peon. Yeah, you yeah, treat yeah. me like a peon. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I'm just a stunt guy. Yeah, yeah and you're the one we got to come save. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that was pretty cool. I can't think of the guy's name. I don't know. I've, I've, I've got a thing about height there myself. I don't care for heights, <coughs> you know. Yeah. So I I, I wouldn't want to be uh, doing anything <laughs> up in here. Yeah, we did the when we were doing that thing glass. It's it's we were doing stunts all day. Uh, we were doing this, which I couldn't stand going off this platform. I'm wearing a poncho, I'm going off this <coughs> platform backwards. I got thirty pounds of weight on me. Uh, we have a water tank, a twelve foot deep water tank with a cover on it. What's 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 the, what's the weight of that stuff for? They wanted me to go to the bottom of the tank. Oh. So I'm going off this platform backwards, into the cover. The cover envelops you. Right. The poncho comes around, and I'm going to the bottom of the tank, and I got no no air. We got a safety diver in the bottom, and now he's trying to find me. Oh, so, I don't like that at yeah. all. Oh, I hated that. We did that the first part of the day. Then we did this thing we called the toilet. How many times did you do that? Shit, I did two days in a row. I probably did it 30 times. I was terrified, terrified. Then from that, we went to do um, this thing. We had 8,000 gallons of water kicking us out through a hole this big. Hmm. Just the two of us. Just They opened the floodgates, and we were gone. Then we went and did this high fall with him on my back, and we come out this window, and the cadence is, you know, the crew's looking up, and the, and the stunt coordinator's on three, two, one, action, boom, and we go. So we're, we're rocking towards the window, and I got this kid, Zach, on my back, and boom, and we go. Out through the glass and down, you know, the three stories to the, the deal. We come in the next day, and Zach's not looking happy. And I go, what? He goes, you got to do that stupid high fall again. I go, ah. Oh. You know, so he's like, I don't know. So we go back to the water tank. Then we go back to the toilet flush, and then we got to go in and do this high fall at the end of the day. And I, I go to, to the stunt coordinator. I said, I'm not going up till you get cameras ready. You didn't have cam- they didn't have camera ready the day before. So, we're, you know, you're up there for half an hour. You're contemplating you know, your choices yeah. in life. You know? yeah. Yeah. It's like that, that, that Top Gun. I know, what's the name of that trucking school? So it was one of those, you know. So the next day I said, you get camera ready, and then we'll go up. Other than that, I'm not going. Yeah. So they got camera ready. Then we're like, okay, Zach, let's go. We get up. And so you see the stunt coordinator with the megaphone. And three, two, and I turn to Zach, I go, having a moment. And he goes, what? And I go, I'm having a moment. And we walk away from the window. Yeah. You know, we don't go. Now we're not, you can't see us in the window up there. We walk away from the window and we just start bullshitting. And we're just talking. Da, da, da. And, uh, and so we spent a couple minutes just telling stories. And I said, you know, the quickest way down is through that stupid window. And then we get to go home. He goes, yeah, let's go. And we go back to the window, and the coordinator's like, oh, 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 three, two, and then we went. We went the second time, but it was like, did not want, never had that before. Never had that moment where you just like, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Something about it wasn't right. I'm like, I'm not going. You know, and walked away from the window, but the crew was hysterical. They're just, where'd they go? They just, we're just gone. Yeah. We just got, you know. Well, you know. Yeah, they can yell and scream all they want. It's your ass on the line. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're going to do it, I don't care. Right. You know, yeah. I, don't care. I mean, I mean, they've got all that safety <coughs> equipment stuff like that, but it's kind of like what it's uh, it's the first time that's it's it's happening. You know, well, yeah, there are things that that go wrong. Yeah, and so. up to up to a certain level, you know, you can get away with what we call a box rig, and you just get boxes from the shipping company from U-Haul. 
and you make a a, a, right. a catch yeah. area right. out of boxes. It's literally just boxes. Yeah. You know, we did two two levels high, so it's four feet high. But that's all we're going to. You know, we're going we're going to shipping boxes from you know three stories. So it's I, I really don't see how that that is really all that safe and or soft to hit. It's actually it, not it, bad. It's, it slows you down yeah. enough. Yeah, you know, as as, as they're crumbling. They do die. It might slow you down, but I mean that is bad. I mean, I mean yeah. but the way that like a box could get crushed. Yeah. I mean, if you get towards more towards the quarter section of it, that's a lot stiffer stuff that you could get really jacked up in a yeah, process. Yeah, and you, you stack the boxes. Like, you, if you do you do a test jump first, and, and sometimes you stack the boxes with all the openings, let's say, you know, the folded part on the top. Right. And other times you, you do that for the bottom or that for the top row, and then the other one you'll stagger it with the openings to the side. And it all just affects the, the way they crush and what yeah. have you. And then we'll just put a little judo mat on top. You know, just to, to add to it, you know, to, to add to when it, it compresses. But it's not bad. The only, you know, the calculation always is when you, the higher you go, if I leave, if, depending on how far I go, I might have to jump at this angle because as I fall, I'll flatten out. If I jump out this way and I, you know, I miscalculate, then I'm nose diving. So you just have to kind of calculate the angle you're going out because, you know, with the drop, you'll level yourself out. And that's, that's what you hope for. You know, you hope to get that right and not screw that one up. <laughs> I got the video, and you can see Zach. He's on my back, and just before we get to the bottom, you see him pushing away just to get away from me. He pushes twice. It's hysterical. It's hysterical. I got a nice slow motion shot of that from the top, and as we're coming down, we're getting towards the bottom. You see him just trying to get away from me. You know, it's pretty funny. It's like okay, but uh, it kind of makes sense to me if, because he's trying to like uh, to me. It's like that, that's awful. That's a lot more concentrated weight hit in one oh, area yeah. by push away. You, you at least hit it into two different areas. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. You don't. Yeah. You don't want to land with somebody else. That's not fun. Yes. That's not fun at all. So yeah. yeah. But it's really funny. To see, he was so aware. You know, I can't see anything because he's on my back. But it, it, when you watch the video, it's really funny. You see him. It's like get away. <laughs> you know, he's just trying to get some separation. And that all happened within probably the last. 12 feet, maybe 10 feet. I mean, he was that, he's, he's that good a stunt guy where he just, he got his act together and it was just like, he knows what he, what he needed to do. He's, he's, he's a good kid, good kid, really uh -huh. talented, but uh, it's funny to watch him just get away from me. We did, we did some really tough stunt stunts um, on the, uh, <coughs> on the uh, set of Predator's Traditions. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, really, really harrowing. Harrowing, harrowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was uh, the stuff of legend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I should be in the, you know, stuntman hall of fame. I, I must yeah. have missed those episodes. Well, that's uh, how good I, they are. I yeah. think about it's kind of like yeah. I see cigar lighting. I see it's well, a that's drink how good mixing, they are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're drinking bourbon. You're lighting. You're having having a girl light your cigar. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, like that's it. oh, that's See, that is true. Yeah, I mean, you didn't make, you didn't have your you didn't make your drink. Someone right. else was making your drink right. for but you. I mean, if she went, well, and that's, if that's, she that's, went wrong with that fucking lighter, could have burned my mustache yeah. off. Could have took an yeah. eyebrow. It, it was dangerous. It was it was dangerous. Now that that okay, the, you know the shake in the glass yeah. that he does in the Predator's prediction when he's empty. I, we call that the Angelo. I had a neighbor down the street, Angelo, and had a party. I'm supplying everything, the drinks, the food, whatever. And Angela's sitting on my couch, and I'm talking to somebody. And I hear, shh, 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 you know, the, the ice. And I look, and, okay, continue with the conversation. Shh, shh, shh. What? He goes, I'm out. <laughs> well, I thought that, that, I thought that might have been like, like, like policy no. or something like that. Too. No. That, 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 oh, no. No, he oh. goes, he's Fill out. Fill it up, boy. Yeah, oh, up. okay. He goes, ah. he's he goes I'm out. <laughs> so and I ain't getting. I'm gonna get up off the couch. Yeah, he's not you're, getting up. You're the, you're the host. See. You're the host. <laughs> yeah, you're the so, hostess with the most. Yeah. Huh? So from then on, we I, I said well, when we did the Predators Bridge, I said, oh, we got to do the Angelo. So every time he wants a drink, he has to do this because that's just the <laughs> rudest thing I can think of. It was hilarious. That's what you were doing that day. Yes, the uh, Angelo. Oh. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's that's a rough one too. I almost threw my uh, wrist out. Uh, you know, carpal tunnel. Oh, you know now. Okay, James James Tom Thompson. James yeah, Thompson. James Thompson. You know James Thompson. So yeah. Don, we're gonna watch the UFC at my house, and Don goes, "I've invited some friends." I'm like, "Okay." James Thompson, who I know from seeing fights, I don't know. The so James uh, Thompson from, to, from the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this monster just comes walking up my walkway. I'm like, "Oh my god." He is completely pissed drunk, and he's got, uh, like, a case of beer. His girl has vodka, and he's got, like, Red Bull, and I'm like, oh, my God. And I open the front door, and he stumbles, and he hits my wall, and he goes, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm like, oh, no. So he comes in. 
He sits down on my couch, which is no longer a couch. It's just like a chair now because he's so big. Yeah. And his girl sits there, and some manager guy that he had is there. And then Don shows up finally, and this is this we're we're drinking pretty good and watching the fights. And Don's standing there, and he looks over at James, and he looks at me, and he goes, "Can't believe I lost that big idiot." I went, <laughs> "Oh no!" <laughs> and I turned I turned to my girl, and I go, "All right, here's the deal." You know, if they start fighting, we have to leave, right? And she goes, <laughs> she goes, yeah, I know. And I said, okay, just be prepared. If they start fighting, we gotta go. And she's like, okay. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh no, that's all I need. That's all I need. These two guys fighting in my house. <laughs> What's yeah. left of your? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a guy. He's such a good guy. Yeah, he's a he he's was a, a nice great guy. guy. Yeah. You know. Yeah, real nice guy. And his buddy's the one that, that t- be very proper the way he speaks. You know, too. Oh yes. yeah, yes. yeah, yes. Nice, nice guy, but like I said, you know, just to see to see this massive drunken human, you know, arrive at my house and then have him have a problem with it. I'm like, oh no, this is not good. This, is, <laughs> this just isn't going well. This is this is not going to be a good thing. You know, well, at least I'm that? smart enough to know I got to leave my own house yeah. at that point. I just okay, bye. Gotta, that number gotta. you need is nine one one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I called nine one. I'm waiting for the last one. Uh, okay. Yeah, that was funny though. That was He's a good guy. He's a good dude. He's yeah, a fucking sweetheart, man. Yeah, so so we got we got Don, we got James. I think we had my buddy Jeff, who was a heavyweight boxer and a kickboxer. And J- uh, James brought that little tiny guy that was like his manager. Out of all the big fighter human beings in my house, the one that walked through my screen door and took it off the track is that little tiny guy. Yeah. Remember that? Really? <laughs> yeah, he walked through my screen door and tore it off the hinges. I'm like, really? Seriously, God you didn't see it. it. I mean, you didn't see it. Little, little in there. I say this is not, that's not good enough story. I think, but I just say it's, it, it, James. It James did it. The, yeah, yeah, James yeah, did yeah. it. Yeah. And then I then I beat him into submission. Is yeah, that, yeah, that yeah that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We don't have any photos of that because he made me erase them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We had lots of lots of evidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah lots. He had to burn the sheets, you know, to stop the blood, you know. And, yeah, you know, yeah. And, and that's film. yeah. Well, sure. Okay. <laughs> Living in, in a state like California. Oh, God. There's, uh, you know, all kinds of pros, cons, a whole nine yards. Uh, but it, it's, I'll say it's, it's a state where lots of people are coming into the state, but then there's lots of people who are leaving the state. Yes. A lot I of think people are taking, a lot their, people are, taking their money with them. I think a lot of people are leaving the state because of, of taxation and stuff like that that's rising up a great deal. I mean, I, I, I know that. Politics stuff like that's a bit of a, a ugly subject to, to speak about, but yeah. uh, well, you know we have an, a, a, our governor in the state of California is a moron and he doesn't deserve a job at all, any yeah. kind of job. The guys, and this is a guy that that shut down the entire state on the Fourth of July, a big celebration for the United States. Shut down every bar and restaurant in California except his own, which was booked solid all weekend. It's called Plump Jack Winery. In Northern California, and this guy don't lead by. I don't ex- think that ever made the news. Yeah, it didn't. Don't lead by example. So you shut all the mom and pop places down, bars and restaurants, and you, yet yours is book solid. The, the entire Fourth of July weekend, shame on you, you piece of garbage. Shame, that's illegal. You even he, think he's you know? a piece of garbage yeah. is what he is. And then our our oh, our, he's Aunt Nancy's nephew. You know, yeah, he's Nancy's nephew. And then we've got our in in Los Angeles, we have our mayor. Uh, Garcetti, who is just worthless. If you're a celebrity, oh, anything you want, no problem. If you're a taxpayer that's not a celebrity, screw you. He's yeah, he's a he's a horrible person. Yeah, yeah, they got they got to go. They got to go. California is a beautiful state. We have a lot of cool stuff to see, what have you. But it's being ruined by these people. These people are horrible. Well, yeah. I, I can't say California is not the only state that that's, that's happening to us. It's a good lack of leadership all the way around when you look at yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. Yeah. No, nobody is leading by example. Let's put it that way. I don't even know. Can, can we refer to it as the White House anymore, or is that uh, racist? Oh, yeah, uh, it might to... be a racist thing. Oh. The, the uh, I mean, shit. You got Florida is good. Texas is good. Yeah. I DeSantis. can't understand why everybody else can't follow their example. DeSantos is amazing. Yeah. The yes, governor yes. of Florida. He is just the greatest. I, I call. I called his office. Left a message. I said, I don't know if this message will get to him. But I said, This guy's doing fantastic. I love. The way he's dealing with his situation, he's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, I like what he did with the airlines. The airlines is the greatest thing. You heard about that one, right? No, I did not. So apparently, the uh, uh, fearless leader, whoever's stumbling around in, the, in that building in Washington, um, he, I guess, people that are crossing the border illegally, they're putting them on airplanes and, and dumping them off in different states. Apparently, 
So when DeSantos found out or about... Or putting them on buses and yeah. dropping them off yeah. in the middle of the night. Yes, yeah, so okay. DeSantos says, well, here's what we're going to do. If we catch people coming across illegally, we're going to send them to Delaware, which is where, you know... Yep. Our guy's from here. And, dum-dum. Uh, yeah, dum-dum. Yeah, dum-dum's yeah, from. yeah, dum-dum's from. They're going to send him to dum-dum state. And he says, and airlines that have been doing this aren't allowed in Florida. There you go. So you know what? Wow. that That's amazing. Now, whether that happened or not, don't know. But the right. fact that he just went, he had enough balls to go, you know what? And the airlines that are doing this kind of you know, behavior, uh-uh, not allowed in Florida. How cool is that? That's beautiful. That is the coolest thing well, ever. Well, again, to be that, if you look at the the constitutional rights, I mean, the way that they're being trampled, things oh, of yeah. that nature, it's just it's ridiculous. Yeah. Freedom of speech. I what and I, and I, I've, I've bitched about this a couple of different times, but when our news is allowed to blatantly lie, yeah. that's wrong. I mean, it's uh, th- there was a time there was a time where if, if they would have uh, said. Or print this up incorrectly, they were liable. Yep. They better tr- uh, do re- retract it, uh, an apology. Otherwise, there was uh, circumstances. Yeah. No, they, it's, I was telling Don when I went. Uh, we were doing trying to do Expendables Four in in the UK, and I had heard that the UK is just locked down, and so I flew over. And this was a few months back. I flew over, quarantined for five days because they're not ridiculous. I like, quarantined for five days. Got out of quarantine. I'm like, man, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do here. The whole the whole country's locked down. No, it's not. It's wide open. The UK is wide open. It's fantastic. So our media here is just going, oh, God, the UK. No, it's not, you lying bastards. It's wide open. It was great. The UK was great. Yeah. Great time. Everything's open, walking in anywhere you want. No mask, no nothing. Except for the five day, or except for the, well, the five day thing, at least they have an understanding. Like the five days, they go, they go. You have to be negative when you get on the plane. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Get there. Uh, I test day one, and then if you test day five and you're still negative, they're like, just okay, get go, go knock yourself out, have fun, <laughs> leave the room. Canada, I just got back from Canada. Those people are out of their minds, and I could, I could be very content never going again. 14 day quarantine in Canada. I flew up there. I flew up to Seattle. I had to drive across, show them that I was negative, had to give them a plan from the production company of my quarantine. This is where I'm staying. I'm not going to leave the room. So I drive, drive across the border, show the border patrol. I'm negative, drive to the hotel. I'm in quarantine now. 14 days that you basically. Well, how do you eat? Yeah. Well, the, yeah, I had a, the, the production finally set up a Sorry, grocery yeah. service with me, which was great. But so I get there. No, no, so wait. How do you eat? <coughs> they, they deliver groceries and you have a kitchen or yeah. do they cook it? For yeah, okay. a kitchen. Oh, so a you had like a room, like a, a kitchenette. Yeah, a little kitchenette okay, thing. Gotcha. But the weird thing is, so I, I, I'm negative to, to, to cross the border. They test me the very next day. I get tested. So I find out, you know, that's still considered the first day. So the second day, I'm, I'm negative again. Fine. Then they test me on the eighth day. I get the results on the ninth. I'm negative, and I call the medical people up. I go, okay, negative, negative, negative. And the girl goes, well, I guess you're done. And I go, okay, let me just confirm it with Border Patrol. So I call Border Patrol. I go, okay, negative, negative, negative. And they go, yeah, it's a 14-day quarantine. And I go, okay, I've got three negative results. I've been here nine days. Nobody's called me or come by to check on me. From, from, from Border from Patrol? Border Patrol, okay. nobody. So nobody knows if I've even been in the hotel room because nobody's checked on me. And I said, so do you test me on the 14th day? And he goes, no. And I go, sounds retarded. He goes, it's like the honor system? Or? Yeah. He goes, he goes, what? I go, sounds fucking retarded to me because you never checked on me and you're not going to test me on the 14th day, but you want me to stay another five days in this room. Well, that's our policy, sir. Well, your policy's retarded. Yeah. You know, it, no first of all, you never checked on me in the first place, so I could have been anywhere. Yeah. Right. But after I'm, I have three negatives in the course of nine days, you want me to stay another five days, and you're not going to test me again anyway? And then I, <coughs> excuse me, then I got out, and you had to have a, a, a vax card to go anywhere. I'm not vaccinated. You know, it's the dumbest, you know, Canada, you can have it. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry, my Canadian well, I, 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 I can say uh, Canada is not uh, the only country that's like that. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean you, 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 like you said, you can see all that right here in the United States when you look yeah. at uh, all, all depends on what state we want to pick on. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, I mean, but it, but it's like you know, it, like the like back to the news stuff. A lot of the news organizations are sponsored by Pfizer. Yeah, Pfizer, the, the the CEO of Pfizer doesn't have his own vaccine. He hasn't been vaccinated, and the and the the CEO of Pfizer is a veterinarian. 
That gives me a lot of confidence because anytime my car breaks, I take it to the plumber and he usually fixes it for me. <laughs> you know? So I got a vet, you got a veterinarian recommending a drug to take and he won't take it himself. That's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. Why does nobody look at gives that? Gives you a warm fuzzy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Makes me all warm and fuzzy inside <laughs> realizing that he has no confidence. Right. Yeah. He, you know, he's making billions of dollars and he's not taking it. Yeah. So I figure if, if they uh, vaccinate and booster shot all of our different political leaders, uh, let's wait. Wait about you know thirty days, maybe sixty days, and who's ever left alive. I mean, it, yeah. that was God's will, right? Yeah, it's, you know, it's it's insanity. And then when you look at the CDC, the CDC less than twenty five percent of their own employees are vaccinated. This is the CDC. Really? Yeah, less than twenty five percent of their own employees are vaccinated. The CDC has never done a study on somebody that's had COVID, and if they can get it again, and if they carry this, they've never done that because they don't want to. Why, why have you not? No done money that? in it. No, yeah, there's no money in it. Why have you not done that? And when I pointed out to somebody the other day, I said, the flu, the flu is insane. The flu, 9 million to 42 million people a year get the flu, right? Every year, still happens. But in, in the last two years, though, you haven't heard that word flu. No, flu doesn't no. exist. It's all COVID. And out there's, of, there's, there's no, no money in the flu. There's no money in the flu. Out of those people, 140 to 710,000 are hospitalized. And out of that, it's, what is it, 9,000 to Twelve or 15,000 die every year just of the flu. Mm -hmm. We don't hear about that. We don't hear about any of that. Everything is COVID-related now. Yeah. Everything's COVID-related. And, and you know, we all had, in my house, we all had COVID just, you know, during the holidays. Mm -hmm. My daughter's double vax. My son's girlfriend is double vax and booster. My son and I had no booster. My girl, were, you know, was wearing up until this a mask 24-7 in the car, at work, at home. <laughs> and then after she got it, I'm like, are we done with the mask bullshit? Can we, can we lose that now? You know, so now she doesn't well, I just, I just think it's really unhealthy just by wearing that mask all the time. And Breathing in your own. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Carbon, what, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Yeah. You're not so, yeah, you're not Breathing in that idiot. shit on your mustache or something. Well, <laughs> well yeah. come on now. One of us keeps ours, ours a little bit better groomed than that. Well, thank uh, you. you know, I appreciate you know. that, yes. <laughs> I mean, I've been staying steady with it. Okay. All right. No, it's it, the, whole, the whole thing is insanity. And if you go to the CDC's website about the masks, so look up the... I got an argument with somebody the other day about this. I said, I went to the CDC's website and looked this up. The CDC says masks don't do anything except for big particulates, not airborne viruses. And the only way a mask is good is if it's form-fitting to your face and has its own ventilation system. Yeah. So your little flower-patterned, you know, homemade little yeah. thing ain't doing anything. Sorry, it's not doing anything. Yeah, right. made for fucking sawdust particles and, <laughs> you know, and sand, you know. <laughs> nobody's, nobody's ever come up to me when I'm standing on the side of a building going to jump off and going, you know, that's pretty dangerous. I don't, I don't recommend you doing it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. But, you know, that's my <laughs> job. So don't tell me to wear a mask. If I don't want to wear a mask and I want to get this scary disease, which apparently I've had already. The invisible boogeyman. Yeah, yeah. the boogeyman disease. If, if I want to get that, that's my choice. I don't care. You know. Leave me alone. Just yeah. leave me alone. Right. Basically, I just I just want to be left alone. We're all put on this fucking earth to die. <coughs> yeah. That's all there is to it. We yeah. start dying from the fucking minute we're born. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, that's... Boy, yeah, that's a real cheery, uh, you know... Uh, He's just a buzz. Image there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> gosh. You know? oh, oh, me. Me. Yeah. You all been sitting here talking about, you know, jumping off fucking cliffs, walking cows, you know, in skirts, and it comes down to me being a That, that explains it now. He's, he's had this, uh, this attitude from the second you're born. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> really? I'm going to fucking die. What do, yeah. <laughs> what do I care? Yeah, that's a problem. Fuck it all. Yeah. I like to take uh, down to the psychiatrist at least just once, just to sit back there, just kind of, Listen to how that session would go. That, that's, that that's, a, that's, a fucking, that's an observation sport. You know? yeah, oh, that, that poor psychiatrist. I, I, I'd pay for it. I'd, I'd like to see that. Yeah. yeah. Get her away from the window. Yeah. It's, and it's, yeah, it's got to be a good looking, it's got to be a good looking girl. Yeah. It's, it's the On the first floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So dog can come in completely inappropriate. Hey, darling. Uh, come here, sell my knee, baby, and yeah. I'll tell you all my problems. Yeah, I'll tell you everything's going wrong. <laughs> yeah. You think your life is bad? Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, that's hysterical. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, I'd pay to, I'd pay to see that. that that's an observation sport, boy. Yeah. That might be, might be a new show. 
Yeah. <laughs> just, just dawn at a well, psychiatrist's office. Spit that one off here. Uh, the yeah. couple of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Do- the, doctor visit. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think that, would, that would be comedy slash adult Fear. content adult, slash yeah. adult content. Leg- yeah. language alone would be. You know, <laughs> yeah, definitely that adult content. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Kids can't watch that one, that's for sure. No, 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 no. And children are not invited. Yeah. So it has to be uh, like after what, 9 p.m., I think? Is oh, yeah. That, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Shit. No yeah, Don will definitely say something inappropriate. Then I'll bastard say it later than we do. What are you talking about, 9 p.m.? <laughs> well, you're, I just, you're asleep at 8 30, huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but you know, that's the funny thing about getting older. Sometimes I'll be at home going, Fuck it, I'll just go to bed. Yeah, where I, I am up? Better than, yeah, yeah, nothing better to Why do. Why the fuck am I up? Yeah. I go to sleep and yeah. I get more entertained in my dreams. Yeah. What do they, what do they say, your, your childhood punishments or your adult dreams? You know, going to bed early, <laughs> not going out to parties, whatever. All that stuff, your, your childhood, you know, fantasies or your, you know, your adult, you know, your adult dreams or whatever, your adult goals. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to be out. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine going to a bar or a nightclub now yeah, right. and being out like, even at ten o'clock, which, yeah. which like Tonaway, uh, Tonaway Reed is, is Dwayne Johnson's stunt double, and I told him years ago, I said, "You have two groups of friends. You have the group that I'm in that will come to your house for a party. It starts getting around ten o'clock. I'm like, I gotta go. Yeah, I gotta yeah, go right. home, go to bed. And then you got that whole other group that's arriving, and at then you guys, are, yeah. yeah, and you guys are going out all night. And I'm like, I'm not in that group. <laughs> yeah, that fr- I'm in that first group when I'm I'm ten o'clock. Oh God, I gotta go. Good night, thanks. But I, I've witnessed it, seeing the young kids coming in. They're all okay. We're ready to go. I'm like, I'm going to bed now. See yeah. you later. Gotta go. Yeah, ten o'clock. I'll be like, I'll be right there. To just kind of like, oh yeah. yeah, I do. I think my daughter calls it the Irish goodbye. Anytime like we have a party when I'm done, I'm just done. Yeah. We had a neighborhood block party in my yard. We had the um, the margarita bar and something else in my front lawn, and and one people they had the taco thing and the people did this, and I'm drinking and I'm I'm tired. And Robert, my neighbor, he he knows goes goes. You just walked in the house, <laughs> shut the front curtains <laughs> and turn the front light off. <laughs> every, everybody's out there having margaritas and stuff in my front yard. I turned the front lights on and I went to bed. And, and Robert said, I turned to whoever it was. He's like, guess Stuart's done for the night. <laughs> and they had to take all the stuff and carry it over to his house. I just went. Because the porch light's on over yeah, there. Yeah, I'm just done. I shut the lights off and went to bed. I'm done. <laughs> get, off, get off my lawn. <laughs> yeah. Get, get yeah. off my lawn. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want. No, don't stay over at my house late. Don't. No, no I got to go. Too old for this garbage. <laughs> really too old yeah, for Yeah, that garbage. Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> Grand Trino. Get off my lawn. Get I off love my that. lawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a great movie. I love that. that a, just his character there. It's just oh, great. Oh, fucking classic. Great. Classic. Yeah. There's been some great movies lately, and there's been a lot of lot of turds. But uh, And I understand the, the, the franchise movies. So I get them. They're, they're, they make money hand over fist. But how stupid do we have to be? Yeah. You know, I, I love, like, the one Fast and Furious when I saw the, the trailer for it. And I didn't see it, so sorry, Fast and Furious guys. But a bunch of cars come out of an airplane. I guess they're on parachutes. I've or never seen any of them. Well, a bunch of cars, you know, ch- you know, Chargers and whatever, come out of this airplane, and they land like on a dirt road. They've all got off-road tires, and then once they're skidding down the road, they've got their low-profile tires. I'm like, is the audience that stupid that you didn't see? Apparently, yeah. Uh, yeah, the off-road tires for the Big Bang part when they, mm-hmm. it hits the ground, and then it's just low-profile tires all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's the du- and I love Fast and Furious movies in the sense that they're street thugs that outsmart the FBI and stuff because oh, yeah. that always happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like the FBI trains or learns stuff <laughs> or anything. Yeah, they go to yeah. school for no, anything. No, they don't. They don't, yeah. they don't study stuff. Yeah. And I called the FBI when people used to park in front of my house all the time. I called the FBI, the local branch. I'm like, yeah, I got a question. The guy's like, yeah. And I'm like, is this Stuart Wilson? <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. Goes, <laughs> <laughs> they see his ID go. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Jesus, him. I go. I go. Hey, you know, I, I just, I just curious. I said, on my street, out of all the houses, people that come anywhere, if they're walking up on the main, you know, drag or whatever, they're always parking in front of my house. Why? And he goes, does your house look good from the front? I go, yeah. He goes, do you have a fence? I go, yeah. Well, they feel comfortable. <laughs> and I go, really? And he goes, he goes, yeah. yeah. They've done studies. <laughs> so because my house doesn't look like they're going to get shot parking in front of it, and it has a fence, which gives a little bit of separation between where their car is and my house, they feel comfortable. They feel content. Because the house is well-maintained, oh, they're probably not going to get shot. And I'm like, really? <laughs> so the FBI guy tells me this They on the did phone. studies. They spent yeah. millions of dollars studying yeah. that. Yeah. 
I thought it was Come on there, Don. Our government has to waste money somehow here right yeah. now. Come on. Yeah. For the studies. Dan, they're spending your money. Dodd, they're spending everybody's, <laughs> everybody's money right now. Money. So I, I'm in good company right now. I, I know you're looking for a little bit of a rise out of me right now. I was like going, you know, I you can't a, stop. I see a I you, see a twist. you can't see a stop twist. stupidity that's taking place here. <laughs> well, you can, but, uh, you know, yeah. I, I don't want to go through some of the methods of how it, that thing gets stopped. Yeah, it's, it's, it's out of control. But, yeah, yeah, that's, that's my plight in my neighborhood, parking in front of my house. <laughs> That's all I got to look for. I'm turning into my dad. <laughs> it's true. No, nobody parks in front of my house. <laughs> no, 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 no. They, they got to find it first. Yeah, they're not going to park in front. <laughs> no, no, no. I had a hard enough time just trying to get in the place. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. He told, he told me when I came, I said, oh, the GPS is taking me. No, no, no. Go there. Don't go that go way. Don't go to the Yeah, no, I, I, I came that way <laughs> the first time there. I'm going to yeah. a, dr- uh, well, it was supposed to be a dry riverbed, yeah. but it had water going through it. I'm thinking, how deep is this? I'm going to get about halfway across it. All of a sudden, I'm floating down the river. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. He tells me, oh, I'll meet you. I'll meet you. Go to the mailboxes. And, and apparently, Don is not aware of the other series of mailboxes. Yeah, I didn't think the about the other mailboxes. So I'm like, yeah. these mailboxes? I kept driving. I finally, <laughs> finally saw that massive amount of mailboxes. I'm like, okay, maybe this is it. But <laughs> yeah. You, you kind of wish a, a road grader would go down the road every once in a while because yeah. there's like, you're going down to certain areas, you're going. <laughs> like, it, it, oh, yeah. It keeps the riffraff like you out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, your, your car is destroyed by the time you go down that driveway. Mine's having enough problems when I was following Don in. I'm like, oh, great. great. No, that was Something's you, gonna fall that was you still cold still from the cold. trip. Yeah. 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 Probably. Probably. Good, good cover there, Don. Yeah, good yeah, cover. Yeah, yeah. He's, quick. He's quick sometimes. Yeah, wow. Well. Rarely, but yeah. <laughs> well, everyone occasionally yeah. hits yeah. strikes, you know. That's it's like right. Striking oil. That's so. right. <laughs> Baby, she's tired. She yeah, had a big day. Yeah. Oh, I. She see. had a real big day. Yeah, she ate breakfast. She went out with yeah. to breakfast. Took her to breakfast. Went, went for a road trip. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. yeah, she got cigars. She had lunch. She yeah. had. She went to the mechanic. Went to the mechanic. Yeah, she went to. Uh, yeah. yeah, she's had a big day. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, we, we went, we ventured 20 miles from home. <laughs> it was great fun. It was great fun. We bought cat food. It was just a busy oh, yeah. day for it was for, a busy day. for you know for two celebrities like us. We bought cat food, went to the mechanic. Yeah. It was you know, yeah. at, at breakfast. At breakfast, talked talked to the old people at, at, yeah. at the at the breakfast yeah. shack. You know, did have to worry about any uh, paparazzi uh, there? Uh, no, you know? surprising. There was no paparazzi, which was yeah, weird. Uh, yeah. 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 Sunnyside. Sunny Sunny there would been for Quinn, maybe uh, the paparazzi. Sunnyside Up Cafe keeps them clear. For Quinn's sake, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they know Quinn, which is really funny. And they go, oh, Quinn, and took us right to the back okay. room. Take us back, come up with her water bowl. <laughs> come come with a, uh, a plate of sliced ham for her. Yeah. And you wonder why that lady thought we were a couple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Witnessing went, went sing that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, she's the love of my life. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Sure, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> sure. Whatever you say. Though, yeah. Yeah, yeah there, fella. Yeah. And the other guy, too. Right? Yeah, yeah. And your, your, your boyfriend over there. That didn't affect the waitress, though. Uh uh-uh. oh. Oh, he had a little waitress liked him. She yeah. she approached him under the guise of the dog. Yeah. You know, yeah. Which you know that was a, a sham. She. It's a, yeah. Yeah. I'm just here to see the dog, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure, sure you are. Sure you are. And you know, she says, oh, "You're the beast from the UFC, aren't you?" No, no, no. no. Yeah. So that ruined that. You know. Yeah. Go, oh, yeah. go away, honey. Go yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Kill. I could see that one. Yeah. 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 Any anytime anybody thinks you know, it's, I'm you. I just. Actually, that came up with one of those questions uh, from our little yeah. double D's in your face type segments right there. Fans was asking, how often does do you get a uh, mistake, for, mistake for me or me or for, for you? And, 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 I mean, uh, I've had different people come up to me and think that I'm not dry at different yeah. times, yeah. Ooh, that's scary. So, yeah. you know, I'll tell you what. I, when people think I'm Dan Severn, I am the best Dan Severn I can be. <laughs> I am. I do not tell them I'm not. I just, I am the best Dan Severn I'm capable of in your honor. Okay. Something tells me that there might be certain states or cities that I probably you're should not be going to. Yeah. A couple warrants. A couple warrants looking for yeah. you. Some places exactly. you're just not allowed anymore. <laughs> 
and that's okay. We'll, we'll talk about that. So you grabbed a tit or two, you know, shit. <laughs> or two? <laughs> or four? <laughs> or what, 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 uh, was it, what was her name? Peggy. Peggy. Yeah. That, two, that, four, that, six. That, that, that's, that's called four. You know, four? You get four. four nipples in there. You've got to work it. Like yeah, and the way the way you did it just goes right back to that lady the other night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you were doing this. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Dan says, you do this and yeah, you got to milk it. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. It yeah. makes make good for good grips there for working with the <laughs> wrestling. So it's always it good did. to have good good grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's, that's the so whole you thing. can either son, you can either uh, work Peggy the rest of your life, or you can go wrestle <laughs> 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 and then fight. <laughs> Oh, you never been in a fight. That's right. That's right. No, he doesn't fight. Remember no. those guys who's banging her head off? Yeah. The, yeah. It's competition. Competition. Yeah. Competition. Never been in a fight. Yeah, never been in a fight. <laughs> There's something wrong with you, boy. <laughs> yeah, when, well, when, when his opponent's in the hospital. Yeah. Like, well, who were you to fight? No, apparently not. No, <laughs> no, no. I, I was competing. <laughs> I, was co- I was competing in an event. <laughs> I, ended up, I ended up here in like, the hospital. Like women's <laughs> rowing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. The other guy was totally content. Like chess, yes. Yeah. 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 So moving along here right yeah, now. Yeah. I don't. I, I, I don't wish to be the object here right now because oh, it's all about Stewart. Oh yeah, it's all about me. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just ask me. Yeah. But do, do you have? Well, get if uh, do you have any like social media like that that you like to kind of uh, uh, well, let I, people I learned, know about? Yeah, uh, I learned a few years ago that I was on Instagram. I was you, okay, you learned that you're on it, but uh, it's nothing that you actually... Uh, I, I, I follow myself now. I mean, I'll check in on, on stuff, and people will reach out and want to be friends. But I, I was filming in the Bahamas, and this girl goes, she goes, oh, you know, are you on Instagram? I'll, I'll follow you on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I'm not on Instagram. She goes, well, give me your phone. I gave her my phone. She goes, yeah, you're on Instagram. I went, oh, okay. So I had no idea. I don't know what my... I think it's Stunt Stewart. But, uh, but yeah, I, fo- I have people follow me now. I follow other people on it. So I'm on Instagram. And okay. uh, anybody out there wants to reach out to me, reach out to me. I think it's Stunt Stewart on Instagram. Am I on Instagram? You probably are. Yeah, he says yeah. I am. Yeah. Huh? Don the Predator Fry. Don the Predator Fry. There you go. Huh. And I need somebody to help me with a website. So well, yes, I can say that. Well, this is a good time to say that if you want to get t- in contact with Stuart, because you are looking for some website well, I'm looking for somebody help. to help me design a website for my production company. Because we have some projects hopefully coming up, and I don't know anything about a website. I didn't even know I was on Instagram, so why would I know about a website? Yeah, so now I think it's, it's important that you can repeat, now that you've said what you're looking for, repeat Instagram. And, and Look into the camera. Look into the camera. And say. I need help. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I need help with a website. Because Don I'm, needs to go to the psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, because Don, yeah, Don's got issues. Yeah, yeah, I need a website because Don has issues. Mm. So, uh, yeah, if anybody can help me out with that, that'd be fantastic. And I think it's Stunt Stewart. I think it's my Instagram. But good looking bald guy. If you pick, you know, go find. But the he'll, I don't he'll, think they can simply just Google that now. Just good looking bald guy now. I mean, it's no, a, no, no. But I am God. But he yeah. will be the producer of Don sees a psychiatrist. Yeah, and um, yeah. Uh, Predators predictions yeah. and Don destroys of, doctors. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of curious. So you you you've got this uh, uh, necklace right there, the rune. Yeah. Okay. What what is uh, was that symbolic of? Uh, supposedly, if you look at mean shithead in, in Viking lore. Shithead in Viking lore. Yeah. yeah. Bald shithead. Bald shit. Okay. Is what it means. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his, his but it, it, his but in Viking got lore, though. <laughs> no, my my actually my ex wife got it for me. You know, Miss Stupid, <laughs> and uh, and uh, it, if you read about it, it stands for transformation, prosperity, breakthrough, depending on what you read, uh, it, it, and. Um, during my divorce, I lost everything, and I found this thing after the smoke cleared. And I'm like, oh, I remember that thing, and I put it on. One month after I put it on, I got the job dubbing Bruce. Wow. Oh, so, so I don't know if that's brought my... You, brought you some good luck, Charlie. I don't time. know. I don't know. She's gone, and I'm doubling Bruce. That's not a bad yeah, thing. That's, wow. uh, yeah, that's... That's worth... That's can I buy win. that? No, 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 no. That's, that's a win-win. I'm afraid she'd come back and I get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want her coming back, so it stays on. I think it's... I think you could it probably put that on eBay. Yeah, I think there'll be a lot of it out Tony, there. Tony, get the big wrench. Yeah, Boom. <laughs> the big red. That's that's fine. Yeah, so I think I, I is either, I don't know. It's it's my good luck thing, and and whether it, it had something to do with my career or not, I don't know. Whether it's my time, but I'm not pushing it. Yeah, yeah, my so, chances, yeah, yeah. When I'm on set, it's in my stunt bag. If if I'm not, if I don't have it around my neck when I'm working, you know, it's in my stunt bag on set with me. Oh, oh, that's oh cool. bullshit! Yeah. You shove it up your ass. 
I didn't want to say that, but yeah. But if yeah. I don't have if I don't have a baggie to put it in when I do that, <laughs> I'll put it in my stump bag. Yeah, you don't use a baggie either. You rough it up. You yeah, scratch wow. it up to make it. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> grab I, I didn't know you were watching. <laughs> yeah, you were watching. <laughs> it does make me move better though. Yes, it does. Yeah, because you know. I want to get I want to get the stunt done so I can get it out of there. But yeah. you, <laughs> you're kind of flaunting across <laughs> across the stage. That's you're pretty, flaunting. That's pretty good. Yes. Well, yeah. you know, if you only had a dog, you took everywhere with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I do. Oh, I, you do. I, I do. I do. I have a teacup. I have a teacup bulldog. You have a teacup bulldog. Teacup. Oh yeah. yeah. That's a that's a pretty big teacup. That there. Giant teacup. <laughs> yeah, that giant teacup. Yeah. Oh baby, they're making fun of you. She's not even awake. She's had a big day. <laughs> yeah, she had a big day. I, I love dogs go there. She's part of the show. Okay. Yeah, there should be a close up on that. There. She's been snoring there for two hours. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She'll be like a close up on her mug there because she's got her tongue halfway yeah. out and she's snoring yeah. up a storm. Yeah. 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 That's great fun. Yeah. <laughs> she's a she's a star of the show. Does she get credit? I don't know. Because my, my dog, when he did Predator's Predictions, got credit. Sometimes executive producer and sometimes yeah. just credit. Yeah. Yeah, blue. Yeah. Just because. <laughs> why not? Yeah, well, it's your show, you know, yeah. Yeah, Just to prove you own it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did yeah. you shoot that though? I mean, all in California. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, my living house. room. Oh, right, my living room. Yeah. Fucking hey, man. We fucking in July we had the fire going, and we had an air, oh yeah, a giant air conditioning unit from from uh, Home Depot, right? Yeah, I had this big <laughs> air conditioning unit. Oh man, it was miserable. Some of those those. Shoots. But he had to have the fire. You know, he's the producer. It's his show. Had to have the fire, but. <laughs> Because you're sitting by the fire. You're supposed to be in a log cabin. <laughs> yeah, you know? in July? Well, people sit in their cabins in July. Yeah, but imagine. not with a fire. Well, that's not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's not my problem. It looked good. I sweat my balls off. Yeah. Oh, miserable. Yeah, well, yeah, that's kind of the beginning ones of those things. Jesus. Because uh, I wasn't smart enough to go, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll put, you know, We'll put apple juice in that glass rather than, <laughs> rather than scotch. So you start drinking at 8 a.m. By the time 4, 4 o'clock rolled around, uh, we I'm were like getting the, a lot of good predictions. I'm like Nancy <laughs> Pelosi. <laughs> oh, man. That was yeah. like, <laughs> like Nancy Pelosi and, and Joe Biden all the way. Yeah, same. All once, yeah. Huh? yeah. Oh, it was, yeah, it was, that, was, that was some brutal stuff. <laughs> that was some. We finally, when we figured it out after like four of them, like, I mean, he shouldn't be drinking all day because this doesn't work out yeah. at the end of the day. Maybe we should do something else until noon. You know? Yeah, maybe, yeah. We just get Don's and then food cutting loose. And, yeah, yeah. and then, then let him go. Yeah, I think that was what you looked forward to. Like later in the day, finally, okay, you can drink now. Okay, good. Yes! Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Or doing the, the, the bit out in the desert when we did that, the, the trailer to come yeah. back. That yeah, was that cool. was cool. That, that, was was, cool. that looked really cool. I don't know if you saw the trailer we did. When the, the UFC approached us and wanted it for Fight Pass, and then they tried to rip us off, which was great. But um, Oh, uh, come on. They offered us $1,000 for yeah. 10 episodes. Yeah, they, they wanted 144 episodes, and basically, yeah, they yeah. wanted roughly two grand an episode, right. but they wouldn't pay us up front. They wanted Predator's Prediction? Predator's prediction. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. They wanted 144 episodes for Fight Pass, but then they said, we're going to do a drawdown account, which basically means I spend the money, and then I go, look what I spent. And they go, yeah, no, we're not paying that. We're not paying that. We're not, we won't pay you this. And I'm like, well, that's not the way that works. If you want this show, that's not the way it works. But we had to do that trailer. That well, that's back. how everybody else does it. Yeah, I'm like, well, I don't care. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, you know, I don't know how you guys do it, but I'm in Hollywood, and that's not how we do it. And so, he's like, you know, uh, well, we we film uh, <coughs> we film all day for a thousand dollars. We film you know ten months worth of shit. You know? Yeah, and I'm like that's too bad. That's not you well, know that's, that's not fighters. Happening. You know fights change. You know fighters fall out. You know and mm -hmm. you know events change and but they didn't understand that apparently. No, and we we were doing our own graphics, so we have to have time for the graphic designer to do the graphics. We we I mean. You can't do that on the fly and, and have us get this show out to promote your show a week ahead of time. We, you know, we yeah. need to leave, we need to be done at least a week ahead of time to kind of promote the the event. We can't do it the day before. That, that means nothing. You know, by right. then you've you've already rented the pay per view. You're waiting for the next day. You're buying your you know your chips. Yeah, you're not even yeah. watching. You know, yeah, nobody's you know nobody's on YouTube looking around at that point in time. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they, they, then they, it was because then they approached Don and they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. And they came up with their idea for a show, which sounded really similar to the Really Predators. similar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, Don sitting there talking shit, you know, and all this. It was like. It's, yeah. it's a different name, did, did you, you know. Uh, did you realize this gift that you had of just sitting around and 
Smoking a cigar, drinking, and talk good shit. It's wonderful. Yeah, you know, not everybody has that gift. I mean, it's I, I think of myself like Churchill. You know, yeah, Churchill. That's Churchill. another word he wanted. It's a person he wanted to bring up yes. eventually. It's on his it's, bucket list. Uh, thank oh, you. Thank he you. did different list of, yeah. of the, like yeah. other yeah. words. Yeah, because uh, he had uh, uh, who did you have earlier? You had uh, Dan Severn. No, 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 no Shakespeare. No, no. Shakespeare. There we Shakespeare. Yeah, Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Hey, Shakespeare. You two sit down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're 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 not part of the show. So we're gonna have to, yeah, Shakespeare you know, and Churchill. Now. Right, yeah, write, yeah, yeah. write some names down. Hold yeah. it up in the background. You know, yeah. say say this, uh, say that name. Yeah, okay. All yeah, right. So Don's got some big ones out there so far. Uh, today. That's okay. good. Yeah. Let's go, Brandon. Bees, get out. Let's go, Brandon. Yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, I like the original. I like the original. What? Where, where, where Let's Go Brandon came from. Oh, I do too. Yeah, that's, that's much better. Yeah, <laughs> much better. I love that one. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, Dan's confused. No, no, no. Actually, I, I was going to bring up you know the one the person that was uh, interviewing him or something like that at one point in time, and he brought up that one line about it, and he said it to him, and and, uh, and he even it. even Biden uh, like she acknowledged it and was happy with it, yeah. and he and he exactly he yeah. repeated it. He has no clue, no clue where it came yeah. from at all. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. It's, <laughs> it's like uh, well, again, you hit you hit the nail ahead. He has no clue. No clue. Period. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't care what the subject matter would have been. Yeah, yeah. It, and it's it's the, 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 it's just I don't know. We, and we, but he's got that nice drug addict son, you know, fuck, who sold us out to China, you know. I just I, I both of them sold us out. I'm just, just so disappointed in, in what's going on. It's just it's un- unbelievable, it's and, we're, and we're putting up with it. Yeah. We are all putting up with <coughs> it. Well, we, I, I don't know if I told you that or I told you, but but since my whole family we all got sick with COVID, big deal during the holidays. And my former mother-in-law, my daughter saw her before she left town and was talking to my, my former mother-in-law and said, yeah, we all got COVID for the holidays. And, and she went, no, no, you, you got sick? No, no, we had COVID. She goes, why aren't you all in the hospital on ventilators? Uh, because it's not that bad. I don't know what to do. You know, she couldn't understand. She's 80 some odd years old. She couldn't understand based on all the propaganda she thought because we had COVID, we would be in the hospital on ventilators. Well, I mean, but the way, that, leg, right. the way the media kind of presents it a lot of times, oh, that yeah. you're, you're basically, you got one foot in the grave and yeah. the other one on a banana pill. Yeah. So it's, 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 yeah. wow. That's, that's, yeah, a, that's a whole podcast. Well, again, I, one, of the, one of the greatest memes I ever saw, and I, I, I said this once before, but it, uh, it shows, uh, I think it was like D-Day. Yeah, it shows D-Day. Yeah. Oh. And it says where 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 it shows that 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 you got like a ninety nine point nine percent chance of, of just sheer death because yeah. you're storming the beaches and things of that of that nature. And then it goes uh, twenty uh, what twenty twenty. <coughs> it shows COVID. It shows a family all huddled behind a couch yeah. with a ninety nine point nine nine percent chance of survival, survival rate. Yeah. And they go, wow, talk about a, a powerful <laughs> little meme. It's absolutely ridiculous. I was I was walking my dog one morning. In what are we in 2022? 2020, I guess, when everybody's losing their shit about it. It's six o'clock in the morning, five thirty in the morning. I'm coming down the street with my dog. I'm the <laughs> only human out there. And I see a guy coming two blocks away and he's wearing a mask. And I go, ah, you know, he's an asshole. So I'm walking with my dog, you know, and we get close and I got a pit bull and we're, you know, we're 20 feet, 30 feet away and he stops and I stop and I go, it's okay, she's friendly. I, I thought that's why he stopped. Yeah, but you aren't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go, it's, I go, it's okay. She's friendly. He goes, you're not going to go walk walk around the street around me? And I go, I don't want my dog in the street. He goes, oh, so I just got to walk around you? And I go, fuck you. And he goes, what? I go, fuck you with your little mask. Have a good day. And I just start motoring towards him. And he goes out in the street. Because <laughs> I'm going to kill him with good. my, you know, my brain. It's like, first of it, what are you doing? It's it's yeah. I I I, wa- I witness people driving a car and all by themselves a mask wearing a mask. Yeah. I watch people on bicycles, all by themselves out wearing a mask. I, I just it boggles my mind. Yeah, but my like, favorite is in the car when there's one with a mask and one without. Yeah. <laughs> well, my my daughter came up with a brilliant. My daughter's brilliant. She came up with a brilliant solution to the school problem that we're having with kids wearing masks at school. She goes, why don't we replace all the desks in the classroom with uh, tables from restaurants? <laughs> because once you sit down, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, exactly. The there you so go. Just replace all the desks with tables from restaurants. You, you need it when fine. you first walk in the restaurant yeah. to walk from the entrance to, to your table. table. But yeah. once you're at the table, magically yeah. you're safe. So it's got to be the tables. So I think the yes. desks have Rest- COVID. 
And I think if we put just restaurant tables in, in schools, kids wouldn't have to wear masks. Brilliant idea that let's start yeah. buying up all these extra tables. Extra tables. Yeah. And we'll go to eBay now. Yeah, we'll and sell uh, it we'll to just. School. Yes. Oh. We'll look at Dan Twitch and uh, money, money, <laughs> money, money, money. Yes. See, uh, Come on now. You, 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 you know that <laughs> this, this administration that. will definitely get behind you, won't they? Yeah. No, it's oh, evil yeah. capitalism. Evil yeah. capitalism. Oh. Yeah, it's not because that capitalism? Oh. Unless you get sponsored by Pfizer with moving the tables. Or you you know you sell it as an art you know <laughs> as a as an art painting or something like that. You know? Oh, that's right. That's how you can launder. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So let's do that. Let's uh yeah. We'll, let's uh tomorrow call Pfizer. Uh, let's start buying tables. Yeah. Restaur- restaurant tables. Again, restaurant tables, tables only. Yes. yes. Because they're and then we'll we'll sell them to school. Because they're immune, immune. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. immune. Yeah. Immune. Oh, he was doing so good with the I know, I know, exactly. Uh, yeah. Take that okay. word off yeah. my yeah. list. Take okay. that word off my list. So <laughs> good. I'm not <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> yeah. Two big words in a day, and he's done. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you blew I got Shakespeare and 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 uh, Churchill. Yeah, that, Churchill. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Immune. And immune. Then immune. Yeah, Misses me up. It looked like he was doing. You were doing well. Three ain't bad. Yeah, really well. Come on, come on. Right in the toilet after that that's too bad the, yeah. well, the medications wear it off though so yeah that's i think the medication's kicking in <laughs> 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 yeah kicking i'm going in. stupid sorry <laughs> yeah yeah okie dokie i've seen it kick in before all them narcotics yeah. oh man yeah we've had some good times yeah, it's time for you to leave now yeah i gotta go yeah, it's. I got many, many things to you do. You have an eight hour drive or seven hour drive or six yeah, I'm hour. I'm thinking once I get hour. outside the city, I'm just going to open it up and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> see how far I make it before I get in trouble. Yeah. You know. Make sure you have your mask. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I've got to put a mask on the front of my car, yeah. too. So yeah. if it comes through the vents, you know, I want to keep the COVID out. That's you don't want to be crossing into California. It's COVID rich there. Maybe I should mask my pickup truck. You, know? <laughs> yeah, you mean you know, when you hit the border there, that uh, there, there's not uh, the you know, no border guards, stuff like that? that uh, there I mean, there better know. be. I'm, I'm praying there's No, there are between Arizona and California. <laughs> they, you know, they want to they check that. But you know, between countries, it's wide open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. How between that, states. Yeah, just, yeah California yeah. is just, yeah, it's, it's interesting because. You know, you can you can vacate California. They don't want you in there right now, apparently. Right, right. But leave your money. Leave your money. Leave your money. Because there's a bunch of uh, mm, un, bunch of illegal aliens and capable of earning a living. You know, so they've got you know they, they need tax money to to survive. They need well, they need that what 1.8 million for a family of four. Yeah, yeah. Is that fucking nuts? Uh, the uh, the average family in Utah. Makes seventy one thousand dollars a year. It would take the the average family of four in Utah makes seventy one thousand dollars a year average. That would take them twenty six years to earn one point eight million. And this administration wants to give families of four that aren't here legally one point eight million dollars. That's the craziest it's fucking a, thing. No, my dad was life. born in England, raised in Canada. He became a citizen. He went through the pr- the process. So I, you know, I can say. Based on my dad, he went through the process. I don't care if you come to visit; that's cool, but there, there shouldn't be any benefits for. No, you know, you want to come visit? Cool, knock yourself out, have fun. That's, yeah, that's, then that's, leave. That's great. I mean, that's wonderful. But if you can't compensate it, yeah, yeah, especially well, you, especially when you have uh, like like our, our vets and stuff like that that are yeah. you know that they're homeless or living in the streets right. or whatever. I, I'd rather that's do something from somebody that the streets is homeless. Dan. Well, well, yeah. oh, okay, well, yes. Yeah. I stand Jeez. corrected, Mr. Uh, well, unless you're really outdoorsy, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're outdoorsy, you fucking goof. You're the one that's at the moon. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get myself. You, you, you I'm trying to spread it around. You can't come back from that. You went to the moon. Fuck, I'm trying to deter. Yeah, you went to the moon, and that's just it. Uh, Anything you say from now on, I'll just say the moon. The moon. And, and it goes squashes back to you, you and, and I look good. You bastard. I know. At least I didn't Immune. say Immune. <laughs> I can see T-shirts coming out right now. Well, at least I didn't say Immune. Yeah, that's there great. you go. How do you spell Immune? I right, what did you begin to? What did you begin to? <laughs> begin to? I don't yeah. know. It's like the shirts I uh, when when we do shitty films. That my one of my favorite quotes is uh, "I'm emotionally constipated. I haven't given a shit in weeks." 
<laughs> and so I want to have shirts made for every production I do that's shitty, and then you just put the name of the production below it. Yeah, yeah, yeah just save it yeah. like a, just a blank line there yeah. across. You just fill in the blank. Yeah, yeah. that that and my immune shirts, which I'll have printed up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're gonna be a billionaire. Don Fry says immune. <laughs> just leave it at that. People are like, immune. what the fuck? Who the fuck does that? I'll, I'll mean? buy it. <laughs> just 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 with the puzzled face yeah. picture of Don. Yeah. Don says immune. And just yeah, have a moon. puzzle up here. Yeah. That'd be great. I'm not puzzled about it. I know what I'm talking about. It's you all who yeah, are well, fucking well, put, ruined. Put that look on there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's you who don't understand. I know what I'm talking about. He knows exactly <laughs> what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, I, 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 I think even uh, you know, your dog sometimes questions, you know. Oh, don't bring her into this. No, ever. You're, you're going to no. hear him tonight when he goes in there. You shut the door. And yeah, I did say a moon, and I meant it. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Quinn? Yeah. <laughs> Quinn's, Quinn's yeah. like, ah, just give me a, yeah. give, give yeah. me a drink. Yeah. Snoring. Yeah. Quinn's just snoring. Like, I don't give a damn. Yeah. Moon. You're an idiot. Yeah. A moon. A moon. Quinn, they're picking on me. Quinn, they're picking on me. See, that's that's why that, that's why that lady. Oh, no, no Quinn. No Quinn. Yeah. You who? You yeah you. <laughs> you who? Can we have another Shirley Temple, please? Yeah. Yeah. No two straws would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just getting weird. Yeah, yeah. It's time for you to leave. Okay, yeah, so I, I think we're actually at that point that... Yeah, uh, we've I mean, been past that point. This, uh, yeah, what... Uh, we passed that point when that we started. Fucking two hours yeah, ago. Yeah, when we started, we passed <laughs> that point. Well, I think that uh, this concludes uh, another episode of Toxic thank, uh, thank Masculinity. The and thank uh, the Lord. Hopefully, uh, you're entertained if some of uh, you thought that we stepped over the line. Well... We agree. <laughs> <laughs> and don't care. That is our prerogative uh, to make you... Uh, to make you think, and for some of you, maybe it's for the very first time. Maybe you scratched your head. Maybe you scratched your ass. Hopefully, it's uh, not at the same time. Uh, we're just uh, you're dealing with uh, two two white men who identified as Americans, and we have the can do spirits. Whether you watch us, and you have that right to watch us or not. So, signing off here from toxic masculinity. Piss off. I'm going to be nice and say bye. Because <laughs> I'm a moon. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Thank you for watching another episode of Dan and Don's Toxic Masculinity. You better like, subscribe, and share, or I'm going to come to your house.